Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. It says, Has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad, keep sharing on Facebook, keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. Paul is speaking by the Spirit. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 22. But ye are come unto Mount Zion and unto the city of the living God. The Bible calls it the heavenly Jerusalem and to an innumerable company of angels. To the general assembly, the church of the firstborn, which are written in heaven to the God the judge of all and to the spirit of just men made perfect you are also come to Jesus the mediator of the new covenant and to the blood of sprinkling that speaketh better things than that of Abel now every time we come it looks to us like we're just coming to honor a program but the Bible says where we are is called Mount Zion. And that there are several supernatural activities that happen there. And it's important for us to believe these things. The second scripture that I want us to look at very quickly is Revelations chapter 22 and verse 2. Please give it to us very quickly. Revelations chapter 22 and verse 2. Please pay attention and hold the person who will run now. The power of God is coming on one person who will start to run so that you can just hold the person down this is what i just saw in my vision um, supernatural things happen because god is at work and everywhere the spirit of the lord is the bible says there is liberty and so god knows how he visits his people our assignment is to open up the bowels of faith to allow the spirit of god flow as he pleases revelation chapter 22 and for that person is is a mighty already is liberty for that person <laughs> verse 2 in the midst of the street of it please let me have your attention and on either side of the river was there the tree of life which bear 12 manner of fruits and yielded her fruit how long every month from that tree every month there was a supernatural allocation that means what god did last month is not what he's doing today the bible says they bear 12 kinds and if he said it's a year of extraordinary fruitfulness that means no matter what you have received you have not seen it in this manner and you have not seen it in this fashion 12 manner of fruits and yielded her fruits every month and the bible says the leaves of that tree were for the healing of the nation i just want to admonish us for a few minutes and then we'll pray my heart is really heavy and i really really believe that god wants to truly end certain things in people's lives and destinies once and for all hallelujah the bible lets us know that in christ please look up we have been called 
to a life of victory please say victory scatter through scripture are the possibilities of the kingdom that makes for the victory of the saints we are not only called to love god we are not only called to serve god we are not only called to be used by god we are also called to be partakers of the victory that comes with this life it is important for you to understand that the dimension of our work with god that makes for victory is a possibility we must continually contend for until it is fully captured in our lives now thanks be to god the bible says that causes us always to triumph hallelujah the bible wants us to produce results in our lives john 15 verse 8 jesus is speaking herein is our father glorified when ye bear much fruit he says by so doing you will prove that you are my disciples when he saw the tree that had leaves but no fig the bible said in that scripture that the figs grow together with the leaves but this time around it had leaves and no figs and it cost it he said that no man will eat from you thereof hallelujah so god desires and, and it's important please listen very carefully we must never allow ourselves to be so used to suffering to be so used to pain now whether we suffer or not it should never interrupt our commitment and our love for god however god's design is not to serve him in suffering god's design is not to serve him in failure and defeat that is why when we serve him under that condition it means a lot because we were not designed that way are we together so we must continually contend to see the reality of the victory that is in christ fully manifest in our lives hallelujah and the holy spirit put something in my heart to just share with us and i want us to please pay attention I have found out that I wrote something down here that I want to just quote and then I'll just discuss a few minutes and then we'll pray. Living in victory requires thinking victorious thoughts. Please understand this, that there is a relationship between the victory that happens in a man's life and the quality of your thoughts and your understanding thinking like christ we call it it is not enough to believe god for miracles it is not enough to believe god for signs for wonders it is not enough to believe god to lift people out of burdens and yokes many believers do not pay attention to the quality of their thoughts their understanding and how it partners with darkness or partners with the holy spirit in establishing their victory I wrote this down and I want you to listen very carefully. Every challenge in this life has a mindset support system. Every challenge in this life has a mindset support system. That means it has a thinking system that supports the arrival or the continuity of that challenge every challenge at all you will ever face in life has a mindset support system that means it cannot continue until there is a thinking that supports the activity of that spirit every challenge in life has a mindset support system that's a thinking system that is that supports the arrival of that problem and the continuity of that problem every victory in christ also in this kingdom has a mindset support system please understand this that both the tragedies that we experience in our lives and the victory that we receive as wrought by christ require a mindset support system the theology of victory is that all victorious living starts from the realm of the spirit routed in christ but then it will pass through the gateway of our thinking to find expression in the physical world this is very important nothing remains in a believer's life indefinitely until there is a mindset support system that allows it 
please listen to what i tell you whether it is poverty whether it is failure now it may not be caused by a mindset it may be an attack but the attack is at the mercy of the mindset support system a thinking system that will partner with darkness to keep that person indefinitely in that situation that means total victory is not just in praying for the sick it's not just in giving money listen it's not just in even getting people saved or born again total victory is when you allow the entire tripartite dimensions of a man to experience this victory number one that man must be in contact with the christ he's the basis of all victory are we together now number two the superior information that is based on scripture must be allowed to permeate that person's thinking let me show you a scripture that will bless you philippians chapter 4 and verse 8 paul is teaching the church in philippi and here's what he has to say finally brethren so he's talking to brethren those who are of the fold he says whatsoever things are true everybody say truth whatsoever things are honest say honesty whatsoever things are just say justice whatsoever things are pure say purity whatsoever things are lovely say love whatsoever things are of good report it says if there be any virtue and if there be any praise think on these things you are given the boundary as a believer to guard your mind that means that you have a responsibility to protect your mind to not vacillate indefinitely it is your responsibility now watch this satan is master of the flesh realm look up please the realm of the senses and the realm of the flesh is the domain of satan the flesh is generally defined number one as a nature and then number two a way of thinking that is alienated from the life and the character of the christ so when the bible talks of the flesh number one it means the nature of the fallen man but number two it means a system of thinking a theology of understanding that is not consistent with the character of the Christ and the Bible says to guard our minds very diligently please listen to me you will strangle any problem to death when it does not find a mind support system any challenge whatsoever is already on its way to expiry when your mind does not support its continuity whether it is poverty whether it is an attack whether it is a cause whatsoever it is so satan maintains continuity of darkness by number one allowing the spirit influences to manipulate the sense realm the things you see the things you hear are we together all of these sense realms they begin to create aberrated views they may be real from the third dimensional realm but the bible says while we look not at the things that are seen but the things that are unseen you can look at the things that are unseen why because the things that are seen are temporal the word temporal means subject to change there are conditions that can allow that thing change there is no end to the trouble that will come to a believer's life who does not construct his thoughts and his understanding to reflect christ any problem listen let me tell you this now please don't feel insulted we have medical people here and i learned that the way what we call hiv are we together the virus the deadly virus i and i was told one time by a doctor he was telling me how it works he told me hiv itself is not a sickness are we together hiv is a state is a medical condition a biological condition that is aimed at weakening are we together now the strength the support system so it kills the support system of the body down not just the white blood cells it it shuts down everything that has the fortitude of creating strength and defense in the body so that any sickness even if it's malaria can kill you this is how a mindset is a mindset works like hiv a mindset is a universal invitation for any trouble to be to part of, that means it is a ready participant any tragedy you are welcome 
the thing that I feared most have come upon me, Job said. Please listen. So Satan uses fear. Number one, Satan uses the negative testimonies of others who are like you. You are in a situation with another person and he says, you see how my life is? How is your own experience? And while you are standing in faith, you look at him and you say, we are the same, we are age mates, the same region, and so I should not act stupid. And you begin to dance to the music of the flesh. The moment you allow your thinking to go outside the boundary, the provisions allocated by the word of God, just know that you are already in partnership. It's another kind of koinonia too. The moment your mind is thinking wrong, you just started a service. But that service now is not under the influence of the Holy Spirit. It's a partnership with any kind of tragedy that will eventually find out. Finally, brethren, in addition to all that I have told you, in addition to the systems that guarantee victory in the kingdom, they are all nonsense if you ignore this. Whatsoever things are true. And now you see, I've taught you this again and again. We live in a society that is negative by default. Are we together? You annoy people when you are happy. You annoy people when you are joyful. You sing a song of praise and everybody is frowning and say, are you the only person in this world? See, So we are trained to be negative. The moment you are negative, you become sympathetic to humans. Apostle, you are talking like this because you've not lost any loved one. Apostle, in the last one month, my life has gone haywire. Finance went down and everything went down. The Bible says, rejoice in the Lord always and again. It's not an encouragement. It's a warning. It's a precaution. No matter what happens, guard certain things, including your joy. Because joy is responsible for strength. Joy is responsible for harvest. Two things you need in your life. When you lose harvest, you lose strength and you lose the fortitude for harvest. You are finished. So we continue to embrace a negative disposition. And let me tell you this. Every time you search for trouble and a reason to be angry in your life, you will find it at whatever level. Even if you don't find it, the devil will help you to sympathize for other people that have no business with you. It is true that you can cry. It is true that you can be in pain. It's true that your humanity can relate to something that brings you pain. But it's a choice. You are going to have to choose that I guard the boundaries of my mind. Please never forget this teaching that's why there are people no matter what kind of deliverance happens to them the devil is more than glad to leave them because he knows he will be back shortly it's like you take a little break in transmission mass communicators when they talk they say okay we now go on a little transmission that's what deliverance is for many people because the devil knows that inevitably there is a, a belief system that has become almost an eternal support system for him are we together it is the reason why there are dimensions of deliverance that are preached, not conducted. To preach deliverance to the captives. Do something to their belief systems. So I've said that every challenge in life has a mindset or requires a mindset support system. A thinking system that supports both the arrival of that problem and the continuity of that problem. Complaining. A mindset. Murmuring. A mindset being did you know there are people for instance come my dear watch this there are people that can stand God can do 30 things wonderful things and then just one challenge a headache trouble some challenge in the job place and they will act as if God never blessed them in this life let me tell you that kind of thinking you will gain a lot of acceptance but you will suffer indefinitely the choice is yours it's amazing how sometimes we complain as though god has never shown us his faithfulness we complain as if god has never given you a dream we complain as if god has never granted you favor 
we never we trivialize the salvation that we have we trivialize the good friends he's given us we trivialize access to truth even though you have not received the truth you have access to it already philemon chapter 1 and verse 6 that the communication of your faith might become effectual through the acknowledging of every good thing that is in you in christ jesus you must intentionally acknowledge every good thing apostle i have big head what about other part of your body have you celebrated god's faithfulness for it you, you see how negative we are apostle every month malaria typhoid they, we went it went it kill me you see that's partnership and when you continue saying it you will invite a spirit that has no business coming to your domain remember the, the, i've taught you this the law of consistency the spirit will say someone is calling me and he will come and say what's going on here and your complaint continues to allow it tabernacle with you i will never say anything negative about myself let critics say it not you are we together mm. someone once told me and said apostle you love yourself i said what's the meaning of that <laughs> of course i love myself why will i want somebody to love what i hate are we together you hate yourself and you want someone to love you that's why all this fantasy of hanging yourself writing a letter write no letter to nobody <laughs> oh i'm tired of this life and things are you know and you just hang yourself it's a foolish way of dying it's better to serve god and be tired or do some or serve society hang yourself and, and waste bodies are we together yes, yes this is an admonishment we're going to pray this night is a very serious night so many of us continue to partner with demons remember i taught you what um apostle paul said he said the spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith are we together and that they will give heed to seducing spirits not just demonic spirits seducing spirits and i've taught you that the character of seduction is that seduction cannot work until it finds something that you are vulnerable to if you are not hungry the seduction towards gluttony cannot work if you don't like women the seduction towards women cannot work if you don't like power the seduction so seduction studies you it studies your goals it studies your visions it studies your desires it studies your aspiration and it builds an attack based on that information that's how seduction works or if it does not find anything it studies what god is doing and creates a system there when seduction knows that isaac is coming it to put hagar close by so that you now bring ishmael who will fight with isaac and punish the nations seducing spirits and the doctrines of demons are we together yes you must make up your mind that this life of refusing this life of seeing negative things let me tell you this world is whatever you say it is there are people right now their viewpoint of the world is a place of bomb blast boko haram wickedness selfishness and they are right and it will become because whatever adam called it that was the name thereof are we together yes you call yourself things god did not call and there are people this world no matter how negative it is they choose to see what god is doing they choose to see the god that lifts they choose to see a destiny that is bright they choose to see a life that insists until god is glorified it will always be unto you according to your faith hallelujah most bitterness 
that happens in our world are as a result of people who feel miserable about themselves. And they are not satisfied being miserable alone. They will continue to make sure that others join them in feeling miserable. With all that is happening in the world, God is still on his throne. And there is joy unspeakable in heaven, full of glory. Jesus only wept on earth. He would not cry again. There is no reason for him to cry again. Are we together? So you must make up your mind. We are going to pray. Shortly people will be healed, be delivered. God is going to be lifting people. But let me tell you, these experiences will never last. In fact, for some it will never happen until you trust God today and say this negative, sadist, devilish, antichrist kind of partnership that I continue to provide with challenges in my life. There are people who look wrinkled. You almost think they are 50 until they tell you, I'm just 27. You say it's a lie. Are you sick? No. But I say the way the world is, who is fine? Don't talk like that. Please take seriously what I tell you. Your victory is not only tied to Christ alone. It's tied to your understanding. Your mind is very creative, but it's also obedient. In my world, I see victory. I really do. I really do. In my world, I see the life and the power of God. In my world, I see Christ glorified. In my world, I see lives being changed. In my world, I see the, the powers of darkness continually dislodged. In my life, I see longevity. Listen very carefully. In my life, I see prosperity. In my life, I see an opportunity to serve the purposes of God with my life forever. In my life, I see continuous triumph. I have taken out time by the word of God and by the spirit to make that understanding become a stronghold in my mind. Are we together? In my mind, I see power and anointing. Someone, someone once asked me and said, Apostle, is it that God tells you he's going to move in a meeting? What gives you confidence? And I said, God, me, and history. <laughs> history. History is the basis for mastery. I don't try to have faith in God when he will move. We've left that level. I know. I trust him. It's a realm of koinonia, oneness, certainty. Certainty. Let me show you something. Luke chapter 1. Please give it to us. Luke chapter 1. We'll read the first three or four verses. Look up, please. For as much as many have taken in hand to set in order the declaration of those things which are mostly secured, believe, are most surely believed among us. Verse 2. Even as they delivered them unto us, which from the beginning were eyewitnesses, listen, and ministers of the word. Verse 3 it seemed good having had what perfect understanding of all things from the very first to write unto thee in order most excellent theophilus what is the purpose verse 4 that thou mightest know the certainty of those things wherein thou hast been instructed they are not cunningly vice fables. The goal of writing this to you is that I was an eyewitness to these things. And I want to write to you so that I solidify and clean up any gray areas that might make you doubt the certainty of what you have received. This is Dr. Luke writing to Theophilus. And telling him what is going on that means so that when you stand to declare a thing you are not hoping in the secret you are right the certainty of these things when you say God lifts and God can change lives as a preacher you are you are a funny preacher if you don't believe it how then does the power flow power does not just flow through your hands it flows through your understanding It's very important you, you know this. Are you getting what I'm saying? The certainty of those things. 
so you must walk on your mind philippians chapter 2 same philippians notice that paul paul seemed to draw it in this church in philippi this issue of mindset chapter 2 and verse 5 he now encourages the saints let this mind be in you which was also in christ jesus he's teaching here that for you to establish victory in your life you must allow the mind to be in you there was an understanding that jesus had there was a belief system that jesus had any trouble is frustrated when your mind does not partner with it every victory that comes from christ is also frustrated when you do not have a mindset requirement poverty depends on a mindset to stay infirmity depends on a mindset to stay causes and yokes and all kinds of things depend on a mindset to stay i think it was a preacher one time i don't know where i heard this um but there was a preacher one time who um spoke about is it the 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 elephant that is used in a circus how that they would chain the elephant or something like that and then it was used to a rope being tied and it was limited and that because of the it, it was already used to it one time they even removed the rope and the elephant would not go past that because it, the rope has been tied in his mind the worst way to bind people is to bind them in their minds when i bind you in your mind i can lose your hands you are in a bigger prison are we together so you must learn to stand in faith with god and believe with him some of you may have never received properly the miracle service because you are hoping that you will come and watch others get blessed would you leave such a distance to just come and clap for others there is a level of insistence the woman with the issue of blood said if i may but touch the hem of his garment she kept rehearsing before the arrival of jesus blind Bartimaeus said all of you have eyes i have an eye too but i can't see and if jesus is passing around let me just hear the sound of jesus and i will cry thou son of david have mercy on me there is a level of insistence that will force darkness to go are we together tonight so i want you to believe listen let me tell you this it is powerful when the power of god flows in and to and through a mindset that has been so constructed you will see the potentials of the life of god we have many destructive belief systems that continue to short circuit the power of god you can pray for a lady like this for instance in the name of jesus may god give you a great life partner but she already has a destructive mindset that will never even allow the life partner see her her mindset has become darkness a depraved selfish unspiritual mind full of low esteem which god's son will see that kind of that kind of um, scenario and be glad to come and marry and there are men with self-centered self-destructive attitudes so listen you have a responsibility and this is the part of the gospel that i think we must balance in church the gospel that continues to say god is exclusively responsible he is responsible for betting the victory but you are responsible for partnering for the transfer and the manifestation to happen in your life it is true and when there was no more vessel the oil stopped the vessel in this case can be your mindset the vessel in this case can be your understanding is god speaking to us tonight someone can be here and you can make up your mind and say lord from january till october i thank you but i've not seen the prophetic word you've given me i'm insisting that this night is not only my night of reception it's my night of recovery and that by next miracle service i'm only coming to testify and clap for others i i name today as the day of my salvation hallelujah yes god is able the bible says it now unto him ephesians chapter 3 and verse 20 who is able to do exceeding 
abundantly far above all we ask or think not ask or sing ask or think and then it says according to the power not lives in him the power allowed to walk in us the power allowed to walk in us god's power is like a dam the one allowed to walk in you is like the the opening of the tap you can open a tap so small that it brings water drop by drop you have short circuited the potential of the dam the dam is misrepresented by the allowance that the tap gives are we together so god wants to bring us to a point where he will move us into dimensions of grace dimensions of victory now thanks be to god now thanks be to god now thanks be to god what does it take for god to change a family listen let me tell you this look up don't get used to pain and don't get used to failure continue to insist until your life reflects christ this is this is where the labor of a believer is in the spirit your insistence until the things that you now see become the things you do not see insistence lord it is not your will for this family to be in poverty begging from hand to mouth anointed but begging anointed but begging anointed but begging every good thing that happens in the family you receive it with fear because you know it will not last and you are right it will not last because it was only received momentarily it was not sustained by a requisite level of mindset that will keep it whatever your mind holds is yours forever truly whatever your mind holds is yours if your mind holds trouble is truly yours if your mind holds victory it is yours are we together so you must insist this night there are all kinds of things god wants to do listen let me tell you this very quickly in a miracle service god does many things a miracle service is not just a healing service a miracle service is a service that allows for the power of god to birth and sustain supernatural solutions everybody say supernatural solutions solutions whose origin and operation is higher than the realm of men it truly is stupid for an individual to sit down and start asking can god change my life in one day can god change my life in two days can god turn my family before november god are we together are you guys done have you fixed it it's not working okay so please Let's work on it as fast as we can. Make up your mind that my life must become an expression of the beauty and the glory of God. Make it a project. It doesn't matter where you are now. Make up your mind that my family must become a reflection of the beauty and the glory of God. As at the time you are speaking, you may not have where to live as at the time you are speaking there's no food even at home now to eat don't worry stand in faith don't fake anything there's no need faking anything because there's no need faking what can be real you've heard me say there is no point faking anointing there is no point faking power in ministry you can stand and say lord as it is right now my church looks like a place where people just stop to drink water because of how powerless it is but lord let something from heaven come upon my church and i stand in faith and i believe with you everybody you pray for is not healed everybody you speak over is not changed but no problem you stand and look at your siblings and nobody in that house looks like the future everybody looks like the past stand in faith i refuse to give my the, my mindset as a donation everybody in your family is not married everybody in your family has no children don't partner with the devil they have all donated their mindsets be the last key that will refuse satan and say no way 
if god is finding hope in this family let my mindset be the gateway that allows god to come in please hear what i tell you not elder sister no child this one no child you two you have been married how long say two and a half years all of us are the same you have you are the last card that god is depending upon to become the doorway for his power to come and now the devil is tricking you through frustration to donate your mindset if everybody in your family is failing you can stand and say lord find one doorway that can allow you remember there is no miracle until there is at least five loaf and two fish you have to give god something the five loaf will allow other loaves come hallelujah i never think failure i truly mean it i'm not just talking i never think defeat i believe i'm victorious i live in the consciousness of the jealousy of god over my life it's true i have loved thee with an everlasting love and i have drawn you with my loving kindness it's not just scripture to me it is life it is god revealing his intent to me this ministry will never go down it will continue to be from glory to glory it is true no 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 I, i'm being as honest and modest with you as as possible because retrogression has an explanation you can explain why things deplete you can explain why things retrogress and you can explain why things will remain afloat regardless of what happens hallelujah you are here tonight in this place in the presence of god you are here tonight many of you have traveled from several nations some of you have traveled from different places to come please hear me my brothers and my sisters the first miracle that god is doing tonight is calling your attention to the partnership that your thought life would have been creating with the devil we call all kinds of nonsense hakanea laashiria does it look like god if you were god is that how you will walk are we together now you must insist and say no this is not the character of god this is not the best of god god cannot bring 11 children to be scrounging from hand to mouth and the only employed person in that family is earning fifteen thousand. god is not wicked something is wrong the moment you call darkness darkness then light can fight it when it has to do with dealing with issues don't be ashamed don't be afraid to stand on god's side are we together so a miracle service allows the multifaceted dimensions of god's power to find expression some of you are here trusting god to break and crack down yokes of infirmity once and for all but do you believe do you agree with god apostle i'm ss this thing will never change it will be unto you according to your faith apostle i know i'm just here no problem they will lay hands on me but that that persuasion is not yet there apostle i believe god will prosper me but in your mind you are looking at that class you are looking at um the fact that your only uncle that had access to bail all of you out died last year and you say it has finished no apostle there have been too much delay in my life by now i should be at this level at this level but restoration is possible let your mind open that door see when you know who god is you don't, there is no fear and regret in your life because the bible says for we know the rest don't know but we who are in the kingdom and are aware of the systems of advantage provided for by god in christ we know that in a believer's life there is nothing that is really a disadvantage it's true if you were employed as a graduate in 2000 by now you most likely with diligence and service minus corruption and wickedness you probably would be a director by now are we together yes and now you've not even gotten a job so if you get a job now most likely you are over age already they will not employ you and so you can sit down and say this thing self i'm dead is finished it's over because you have given god you have told god how to move in your life and not allowed him move how he wants to move god if it's must you move this way and god says i want to do more than you can imagine and he will have to make do with the allowance that your mindset allows him but someone can say lord i'm tired 
of allowing you to pass through my life only through salary thank you for salary but El Shaddai where are you answer my family that is the day you will see what will happen one day and it will look to you like a dream someone will call you and say the Lord instructed me to transfer 30 million to this family you say please tell the FCC before you talk to me Let, let's just be sure you are genuine and they say God instructed me and I'm obedient then you will now know that the testimony of others are not a lie pain can make you think everyone is lying did God really step in like that did God really anoint you like that hallelujah expect God to step into your family expect God to step into your life expect God to put favor upon you the reason why people succeed in this life the favor of God is true expect it life by default and without the assistance of God is impossible to live it's not hard it's impossible you will never be able to walk in the dignity of kingdom integrity and live life as it should be unassisted by God no so he interjects your life with different systems of advantage like mercy like favor like speed like restoration all these things are divine forces that work together to make your life become what the Word of God says should become so a woman here for instance who has been barren say for six seven years now if God gives you one child that's good news but that's progress not restoration because you will still have to wait three years get pregnant again wait three years get pregnant you must add 12 years to have the four children so God gives you triplets in nine months now that one is no longer progress that's restoration he has brought nine years spacing in nine months are we together God calculates your salary like Arias and brings it through favor in one transfer God shifts you to a level of anointing that you should have walked in. Had it been your uncle allowed you to be diligent, attending church, serving in the house of God, there are certain levels in the spirit you would have walked in right now. But because he stopped you and clamped you down and things didn't look like they were walking, many things just went down in your life. And because of that, watch this, because of that, you got grounded and could not know God fast. And God can lead you to an uncommon mentorship, an uncommon anointing. In six months, you will receive a grace that is 15 years old. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Jacob collected Esau's birthright. He didn't know that Esau was supposed to suffer seven years. When he collected his birthright, Esau's own plus, his own, he served 14 years. It's not about exchanging of women. It's destiny playing out. Their family had delay. I hope you know. From Abraham, it was a challenge. So both of the sons individually, whether they was collecting birthright or not, they would have paid their seven years. Watch this. But Jacob collected Esau's. It only played out using women. But it still played out that means you can collect someone's speed too you see that it's true sit down please sit down you can come with a load that is supposed to be 10 years according to the normal sequence of occurrence based on the allowance your family gives and you come under the influence of a covenant that forces your life to look like the grace upon that territory it's true find a way of believing what i'm saying i've shown you luke chapter one to tell you the certainty of these things it is not those who like you that bless you alone it's those who are directed for everybody to like you do you know how long it takes to like a man sometimes you just need to hear god and obey fast your life requires speed hallelujah there are times because of what God wants to do in your life 
when he finds out that four people need to be blessed to reach you whether they are praying or not he will hurry them quickly because they are delaying you he will hurry them for your sake when you come for a meeting like this be conscious of four things number one be conscious of every prophetic word that comes relating to your issues of concern be conscious of it when these words come don't think they are just empty speakings the carnal man cannot discern the things of god the word of god is like a tray you have to receive the tray before you receive what is on it are we together now the word of god is a tray it carries miracles carries deliverance carries healings so when you receive the word the engrafted word you now take what is in it be conscious of the prophetic word number two be conscious of the covenant covenant is a very deep spiritual word many people just shout covenant around but they don't even know what it means listen a covenant is a system that commits god and causes him to vow to ensure that a person or an institution continues to receive certain predictable outcomes it's a covenant there is the covenant of answered prayer there is the covenant of god's presence there is a covenant of results every man that god truly calls and every ministry that god truly ordains there are underlying spiritual covenants the platform upon which god put his vow and his integrity that has touching this and this i will make happen it's true also be conscious of the graces you see that the graces that are available within that territory you cannot receive a man's covenant you can only partake of it but you can receive graces you are a pastor you come and your church is grounded you only have 50 members during your annual thanksgiving thank god for that but something is wrong god is a god of increase you can come with hearts open to receive the grace how about hardship things not working well how about your spiritual growth you are at the same level for five years the knowledge of scripture zero health of your prayer life zero you are a man of god and nobody is placing a demand on the grace of god that you have it will frustrate you eventually but there are graces every possibility in the kingdom is governed by an operation of grace when that grace comes upon your life your result shows thou anointest my head with oil the result shows through my cup he does not anoint your cup he anoints your head your cup proves what is on your head are we together now so this is very important thank you and you have to understand the way this works we are going to pray shortly and i need you to know how this works i want you to receive be conscious of the graces not some of you may not need may not need a miracle like miracle from sickness or whatever but understand that when you come it's like an exchange of graces listen the bible says give us please second corinthians chapter 9 and verse 8 please give it to us quickly second corinthians 9 and verse 8 praise the lord read with me please koinonia ready one to read stop 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 god is able to make all grace let me explain that to you please all of you come stand anywhere you want to stand just stand anywhere scatter yourself around don't come close to me just stand watch this call these guys graces the grace for prosperity the grace for favor the grace for speed the grace for spiritual fire the grace for influence watch this access to the hearts of men this is you this is your destiny and the bible says the way we advance is that we need to be in touch with all graces not some i can have the grace for prosperity and i'm rich but i suffer but i succeed you are rich but no man helps you because you don't have favor you only have prosperity the proof of favor is not money is the loyalty of men if you do not have access to the hearts of men you don't have favor you may have resources so this guy has prosperity 
so he will labor wake up in the morning sleep late in the night eat the bread of sorrow mix it with hard work and eventually prosper but as far as spiritual fire is concerned the grace that plants in a man the hunger and the passion for the things of god is not in him so that grace is not there he has some but not all and the part the grace dimension he does not have the deficiency of it will show in his life he is getting richer but not as his soul prospers this is the grace he needs when you pray and intercede for this man now god will answer your prayer by channeling him to a ministry or a man of god that has this dimension so that in addition it will be added to him are we together now now listen very carefully please look up everybody so god is one of the things that happens here is that the spirit of god continues to move like a wind and he scans your life which grace do you need in this season that you do not yet have this is one of the biggest miracle that happens in a miracle service most people do not know you sit under this atmosphere and there is an updating it's like a software god finds out that this level you are entering into there are at least 21 graces but as it is there are only four so while the meeting worship is going prayer is going there is an upgrade that grace so here's what the bible says god is able to make hold my hands so you come for koinonia miracle service dry nothing is on your head and nothing is around your life too because what is around you is a is a report card telling what is on you are we together now you obtain the grace that makes for abundance for the sake and the grace for wealth that works in this ministry forces you to love god while you are wealthy if you receive a grace that makes you wealthy and as you are rising in wealth you are leaving god that anointing did not come from this ministry the grace for this ministry has been it has been edited to a covenant to ensure that as men rise their hearts also rise for god not the kind of nonsense money that makes you leave god you don't honor anything that has to do with god again no it is as you prosper even as your soul prospers it's babylon that gives wealth that prospers you and diminishes your soul watch this so you receive this grace and then the holy spirit finds out grace for what favor come watch this praise and worship you got this one during praise and worship you didn't even know why you felt like falling you just thought that ah the song was so nice something had landed on your head are we together now this is speed hold me now my dear watch this this is what is happening in koinonia you are sitting down but you just know that there is a weight that glory something is coming on you you can't tell you are not even falling you are not shouting you will look at someone shouting and feel bad and feel like i i wish i'm the person falling whereas the holy ghost is doing very serious things and then access to the hearts of men this is your package for miracle service now you receive this watch this we now share the grace watch this watch this remember you travel from another nation the uk us kenya wherever and then you just came and at the end of the service satan can even fool you you are from kenya oh i see please sit down madam i see how it's a kenyan uh, god bless you now watch this you can receive this and while you receive it they will share the grace and you will still feel like nothing came on you but you see the exam is not marked in church go out listen please koinonia understand what i teach you and god is able you came for a meeting and you carried this in two days someone who forgot you no listen he does not just remember i've taught you this last week a book is open in the realm of the spirit by reason of the grace that you carry watch this in one week a strange grace for illumination you think hold on you think is the spirit of revelation it's not revelation it's speed it's just that speed demands revelation there are graces when you carry they call others too so that they will work well in your life and god is able god is able god is able 
there are people because of the graces you carry you will sustain the grace to fast for three days for one week remember that was a condition god gave you to allow your spirit allow him do certain things but the fortitude to fast that long was not there so the grace comes and while you wait upon the lord 10 years immediately is released within one month listen if all you see is just physical healings and deliverances you are not seeing well the major part of what calls listen one of the major reasons why god sends people from other nations and other places to this place is number one to be able to stand by the grace he has provided for to solve their problems but more than that to expose you to ancient mantles these are graces that were there by covenant listen there is nothing i carry that is as old as me everything i carry is older than me by far we are only stewards the grace predates us it's a relay we are running others ran it and god added on it and gave us to hold it for a generation To know the certainty of the things whereof you have been instructed please hear me if you believe what i share with you tonight you will marvel and you will wonder you can choose tonight to agree with god that every challenge except it does not have a name that in this place this night god will bring it down we are going to have like 10 minutes of serious prayer now listen please during that time of prayer forget about who is by your left and right forget about me just stay with god and pray passionately for the next 10 minutes lord i came for an encounter i came to receive healing i came to receive deliverance but i came to also attach myself to covenants i came by the spirit to receive graces outside inside online lift your voice and pray be restoration please bring them out quickly 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 let's save time please in the break take it to Sheila Qatar restoration now I speak it by the spirit the power of God is still coming on people recover recover by the spirit recover I stretch my hands recover by the power of prophecy recover Recover years lost. Recover opportunities. E Paris ke barashanda la katariata. Recover in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree and declare God is bringing recovery. Let me tell you, you will marvel and wonder that the things you thought has left you, you are about to find it waiting for you in your tomorrow. I speak to you, may that grace come upon you now again. Recovery. Recovery, recovery, shamana katabadakata, restoration. I want to take authority over the spirit of delay. I'm seeing many people, your feet is chained in the spirit. You want to make progress, but you cannot make progress. Fire is falling from heaven now. I decree and declare inside, outside, all the overflows. Anyone under the sound of my voice who is under the influence of the spirit of delay at the count of three may fire from heaven fall upon those chains one two three i break those chains now be free now from delay be free now be free now be free now, be free now. I will hasten my word to perform it i will not just perform it i will give speed to my word the word is quick and powerful i declare again any family here any individual under the yoke of delay 
I speak to you by the spirit that yoke is broken now that yoke is broken now broken by the spirit hallelujah now I want to pray please listen I have prayed this prayer and for those of you who have missed it in time past may God grant you the grace to receive it now listen truly speaking there is a grace for speed please hear me a man's lifetime cannot allow the fullness of the purposes of God to be birthed some of you gave your life to Christ late already in life it's not enough to rebuke delay you must obtain the grace for speed and watch this I'm about to pray for people now and that anointing is coming on people as usual you find people running by the spirit but I need to release that anointing father I stand under heaven in this miracle service there are people who have traveled from several nations and several territories at the count of three for you and for your family that dimension of speed where 10 years can be put in one year I declare right now let it come upon you one two three take that grace now take that grace now speed Parush Kabarakata speed career speed I give speed to your life speed to ministry receive that grace right now receive that grace right now receive that grace right now speed hello madonna hallelujah mommy please look at me ma don't be embarrassed i don't know you but i'm seeing strong witchcraft over your family where are you coming from madam madam i'm looking at you i'm seeing river state where are you from states. Huh? states river state yes sir the lord says i should tell you that from this night things will change in your life she's your mother help that woman please i'm looking at the lord in the spirit I'm putting my hand inside a river and I'm bringing something out and the Lord says it's the destiny of this family in the name of Jesus that's the daughter I command by the spirit every planting that is not of the Lord I overturn and I uproot now in the name of Jesus Christ who is Naomi I'm hearing a name Naomi we have to hurry up I want to pray for the sick. Naomi. Hello, Kim Madonna. Ah, hello. The Naomi I'm talking about is outside. Where are you coming from? Come, stand. Your name is not Naomi. Is your name Naomi? What's your name? Come, stand. Where are you coming from, my dear? From where? I want to pray for you. Your name is Naomi. Come and stand. We have to hurry up. Hold on. I cancel CS. I, Madam, look at me. I stretch my hands now. I cancel CS by the Spirit of the Living God. And I decree and declare, like the Hebrew women, you will give birth. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm saying it again. I correct what I'm seeing. In the name of Jesus. This is what doctors say, baby is breached. In the name of Jesus, by the anointing of the Holy Ghost, I correct it now. May you give birth normally like the Hebrew women. In Jesus' name. Let me pray. Are you married? You are backing a baby. Where is the baby? I'm looking at you in a vision. That's why I'm saying, oh, how can this? You know, I'm saying you came to Koinonia. You are backing a baby outside. This is the vision. I'm... 
you are not getting what I'm saying is this you were backing this baby when I mentioned your case huh? were you backing a baby that's why I'm saying are you married because you look too small to be a married woman this is the real person I want to pray for bring this little baby God is I don't know whose child is this your child but God, this lady you see is going to be a mighty vessel in the hand of God. She looks like a little girl. In the name of Jesus. What's her name? Nicole. Nicole. She may not know what we are doing, but we stand in the presence of the people of God. We anoint this lady. May she become a Deborah to her generation. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My dear. Let me pray for you. Where are you from? Kogi State. I want to pray for you. Ah. Immediately she mentioned Kogi State. I saw what I used to see now. Now I'm seeing the map of Nigeria. And I'm seeing the power of God going to Kogi State. Kogi State. I'm praying now. It's a sign and wonder. Every time I see that, if you are from that locality, the power of God comes on you immediately. In the name of Jesus, I command witchcraft associated with that territory. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. Hallelujah. Who is Magdalene? Magdalene, my dear, come. In the name of Jesus Christ, I anoint you. There is grace. You look young, but you are going to be a mother to men. This is what I'm saying. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord anoint you and make it so. My dear, I rebuke the hand of witchcraft now. Release her. I'm seeing chains on you. I declare by the Spirit, release this lady now. I'm about to minister deliverance shortly. Release her now. In the name of Jesus. Please bring someone in overflow too now. A lady. The power of God is coming upon that lady. Now as I speak, overflow too. Mighty fire of God is coming. Please bring her quickly. We have to save time. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you. Come, my dear. The grace that we want to make married men disturb you. Look at me. I come against that spirit now. Not only you. There are five other people I'm seeing. I don't know where they are. But in Jesus' name, there is a, like, like, a, like an, almost like an evil anointing that makes only married people to look for you. Parus kamana hashileketa. In the name of Jesus, by the God of heaven, I lift that negative thing off your life now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. I hear the name Magdalene. I don't know if Magdalene, I want to pray very quickly. We have to pray for the sick. You are the covenant keeping God. you can Jesus. I decree and declare by the spirit of the living God I'm seeing your feet in mud in the name of Jesus I lift you out of this tragedy by the power of the Holy Spirit and I speak to this lady I'm seeing this lady but all I'm seeing is snakes completely I declare be free now by the spirit of the living God the Bible says now the Lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Be free right now by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Let me pray for you, my dear. Grace for you. The favor that is on your life, I command it to start speaking. It will not only be a name that is on you. It will speak right now in Jesus' name. Your sister, 
Your name is Magdalene. Come. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the Lord bless you. Look at me. The Lord is taking away shame and reproach from your life. These two things. Shame and reproach. Shame and reproach. Shame and reproach. Please stand up. I speak to you by the God of heaven. The month of November, a big miracle is coming to your life. A big miracle. I lay my hands upon you and I declare in the name of Jesus, be free right now. Why is this girl here? This Magdalene? Come, my dear. I pray for you. Place your hand on your head. I declare, oh God, let this chain be taken now. I'm seeing a chain on this girl's head. Be removed now. Be removed. This, like the devil wanting to just bring this lady under captivity. I remove it right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody lay your hands on her. So anybody just touch her. Release her now by the Spirit of God. There's no place for you. Take everything that belongs to her. Restore it and go. Now. Now please listen. I want to minister deliverance. Please believe it. You may not know. The woman from Kenya. Come. It's time for God to change your life. Please stand up. When did you come here? Uh, yesterday. Yesterday. Yes. You came here. God is about to turn your life around. Amen. Glory. You are still coming. And you are coming with four people the next time you are coming. Amen. Thank you. Jesus. Madam, what do you do? Madam, what do you do? I'm a commissioner for human rights. Commissioner for human rights. Yes. In Nairobi. Yes. In, in two weeks, I'm going to be in your nation. I would like to see you. Amen. Your nation. There is a reason why I'm talking. I'm not seeing you alone. I'm seeing four other people yes. that the Lord wants me to pray for. Yes. But I want to pray for you, madam. Because I don't know if you believe it or not. You have a political destiny. As you are like this, looking at me. You have a political destiny in Kenya. And God, by his spirit, is going to make this happen. But another thing is there is also the call of God upon your life. You are a woman that loves God. There is is starting like an intercessory grace and a prophetic grace, but you will get to a point where among the graces God will give you is the grace to pray for barren women. Notice this grace. God is going to bring this grace upon you. God, I'm also seeing you build a charity foundation. There is going to be a mighty humanitarian foundation that I see you build. I'm seeing foodstuff. And I'm seeing different things. First, it will have to do with young girls, people who have been abused and so on. But I see it not only that, I see women too. Women. God is going to increase your influence. I lay my hands upon you and I declare by the Spirit, carry this grace. Go to Kenya with it. Go and excel. I command the two lift gates of Nairobi and the entire Kenya to be open for you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Go with this anointing. Go and prosper. May the Lord multiply your political career. And may the Lord prepare you for the mighty ministerial assignment he has for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. An angel of the Lord is standing here. Someone will shout here under a strong anointing. I just saw that grace. I don't know. First, I think until the shout happens, I know why God, just from here right to the back, there is an anointing. I just saw a, a very mighty manifestation of the power of God here. Now, listen, whether you know it or not, if there is anything influencing your, your destiny that is not of the Christ, it's about to give way right now. <laughs> Hallelujah. At the count of three, hear me. Whether you are inside, outside, or following online. I want you to shout that name Jesus with understanding. It's not just a chant. My Bible says the name of the Lord is a strong tower, not a weak tower. The righteous run it to it and they are saved. I want to pray for you. I know you've shouted in other months. 
but great deliverance great deliverance is about to come your way father i pray that every spirit in this place that does not name the name of the christ that is sitting on the destinies of men and women manipulating their results i stand and call upon the god of jeshurun the one that rides upon the wings and i declare let there be deliverance at the count of three shout that name jesus one two three them out be free now overflow one overflow two overflow three all the extension online i declare be free now from ancestry be free from foundation be free from witchcraft bring them out paru salikata embrekete barata operations of darkness i'm seeing a womb like the drawing of a woman's womb and i'm seeing it close it doesn't just mean physical barrenness it means a spirit that is closing the door of results many people cannot get results but right now that door is about to open and i stand by the god of heaven by the fire of the holy ghost everyone's destiny that has been closed so that it will not find manifestation at the count of three let it be open one two three be open now 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 Listen, please. 
the Lord is placing a very strange grace for finances listen to me please I want you to believe it there is a grace for finances and it's coming on many people I'm not asking you what you are doing I'm not asking you what you know I'm telling you what God is doing I stand by the God of heaven and I declare father the men and women that must enter into this dimension as you are showing me at the count of three may that grace rest upon you one two three take that grace now take that grace now take that grace now a strength grace for abundance receive supplies from heaven supplies by the spirit let things walk in a way that will surprise you I command things to walk in a way that will marvel you mighty God a few minutes we are going to pray for the sick now now please listen I'm only going to do this for this overflow and overflow one that's not to mean I'm neglecting the remaining it's just a revelation that God is giving me there are two angels standing by my left and my right and every time I see this God wants me to move listen hear me except God is not God when I pass any road where you are anything that does not name the name of the Christ and any dimension that is not of God in your life it must give way now I only do this for this and overflow one afterwards we are going to pray for the sick please I want you to just believe I don't know why God does these things but I want you to believe that he is mighty and that he will glorify himself father in the name of Jesus Christ glorify yourself change everything that needs to be changed many of you will be receiving impartations that will shift you to dimensions I want you to believe it I will pray not everywhere but there are a few people I'm seeing this happen by the Spirit Hali Shalatos Pragados Krekete Baratushla I shift you in the Spirit every limitation that does not name the name of Christ I'm praying mantles anointings by the Spirit coming on people right now let that presence of God shift you to dimension in the name of Jesus dimension I'm seeing a chain around here I break that chain now I'm seeing a chain around here let that chain be broken now let that chain be broken now let that chain be broken now break now break now break now Chains be broken now in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Madam, God is turning your life around. Where are you coming from? Kaduna State. In the name of Jesus. Break now. In the name of Jesus. Be free now from everything that is not of God free now something is breaking here something is breaking here something is breaking here Parusha I break it now I break it now I break it now I break it now by the spirit of the living God I break it now mama I break it now I break it now
morning I'm sensing an evil spirit just around here I come against you now I take authority over that influence you must go now go now go now go now go now overflow one lift your voice and pray in the spirit now listen please be your brother's keeper you don't have to touch me please be your brother's keeper so you don't enjoy yourself but as I pass here everything that is not of God is about to give way right now thank you Jesus go now let it go now let it go now let it go now all times I come against you now in Hashanah Release them now, release them now, release them now, release them now. I'm seeing what looks like an altar right here. Release them now in the name of Jesus. Harusa Sikete, be free now, be free now, be free now, be free now. The spirit of delay right here is breaking, breaking over someone's family. Be broken now. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, be broken now, be broken now. Beauty and glory to your life, in the name of Jesus. Now watch this, listen, hold on please, hold on please. I'm standing here and I'm seeing who is Rebecca. Rebecca, they call you Becky. Rebecca, just not inside. Here you are. What's your name? Rebecca. Don't worry, it's okay. What's your name? Don't just come out if in the name of Jesus Christ, come. I end oppression now over your life and your family. Oh, you, my dear, your name is Rebecca. Where are you from? You are from are you from Makodi? Benway State. In the name of Jesus, I keep seeing this spirit every time I pray for people. That thing they call Aleku A L something K U. In the name of Jesus, I cast that spirit by the God of heaven. If there is anyone under the sound of my voice who is a victim of that spirit, you are from that region. I stand by the God of heaven. Let it come to an end now. Help them, please. Let it come to an end now. In the name of Jesus, hold on please. Right here, there is a gentle man who will be mightily used by God. I just saw a strong mantle from my head resting on someone. I stretch my hands. Lord, I don't know where they are. Parus kabadu sheleketa. Let that grace come on you now. Strange mantle, prayer fire, word fire, illumination in the spirit. Receive that grace now. Receive that grace now. Receive that grace now. I'm standing here and I'm seeing a family with a yoke of marital delay. I'm seeing something that looks like an arrow just coming from heaven. Right now, let deliverance come now. Let it come now. I'm still moving. The hand of God is coming to people right now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Please, you don't have to touch me. In the name of Jesus, right here, financial stagnation comes to an end. An anointing is coming on someone for your family. Financial stagnation. Let it be over now. My dear, be free now. Out! Now! Someone here, the power of God is coming on that person. Be free now! Free! from everything that is not of God. New dimension. New dimensions. I'm seeing an anointing here. New dimension. The old story must leave you. That's what God is saying. I'm prophesying to someone here. The old story must leave you. The old is gone so that the new will come. In the name of Jesus Christ. Where is the woman? Wait, hold on please. I held someone's hand now. 
holding a photo of a sick patient. Where is he? Come. Who is this? Where is he? He's in China. What's wrong with him? He's depressed now. If I don't pray for him, I'm seeing him inside a coffin. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, let there be deliverance for him now. What's his name? Ibrahim. This is not only something affecting him. This is something that is influencing the entire family. But I stand by the God of heaven and I set you free. In the name of Jesus, be completely free. And I speak to him, Ibrahim, may the power of God touch you and perfect you now and perfect you forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want to pray for the sick. My friend, this man looking at me, come. Where are you coming from? Huh? You are from Kogi State. What do you do? Are you a man of God? You came here trusting God for fresh fire. Come. You are about to receive it because I'm seeing you from Kogi State. You, where is your church? Look at me, sir. Where You have a church? You are under a church. Mm. A time will come God will give you your own work. Now God is preparing you. Be faithful. You will go, but now is not the time. You live now, you will suffer for nothing. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Don't let sincere people come and push you out of the will of God. But surely a time is coming and you will walk in very strange dimensions of the anointing. Father, I lay my hands upon this man. Let his dealings with the spirit progress. In the name of Jesus. Not only an impartation, a dealing that produces real power in the spirit. In the name of Jesus, may that grace rest upon you by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. This lady with green, this lady, you, come. The Lord is about to turn your life around in a way that will surprise you. Two things will happen to you. Number one, I'm seeing restoration. God is saying, I should tell you, he's bringing restoration. Number two, I'm seeing the gift of men. Please do listen to my message. Help them on the gift of men. God is bringing people strangely to lift you. I lay my hands upon you and I pray, may this grace be effectual. Carry that grace right now. And you will start having visions. Visions. God is going to start giving you dreams and he will start giving you visions. In the name of Jesus. This is very strange what I'm seeing. Except that I saw it, I will not say it. Stop running away from the call. You are a man of God's wife. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm saying what does not make sense. Stop running from the call. You are the wife of a man of God, a minister of the gospel. The Lord will bring performance to his word. This thing I tell you is a strange mystery. The way God works. But in the name of Jesus, I place the word of God upon that prophecy. It's time for you to not fight the will of God. It's time for you to relinquish your own will in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We are going to pray just one prayer point. The Lord is asking me, immediately we do that, we'll pray for the sick and we'll start submitting our request. Where is that young lady that came out with one mama while I was praying for her? There's a young lady that was wearing glasses. I don't, if, if you are here, you are the one. What do you do? You are going to be very wealthy. Come. Are you a lawyer? Huh? This is your mother? Where are you coming from, mother? Okay, you are the reverse woman. This lady you see is going to be extremely wealthy. Because I'm seeing you a lawyer. And you are going to, you, I don't know what area of law you are going to specialize, but I'm seeing you sitting with so many business people. This is a lot of business people. Signing contracts, helping people to process a lot of things. Millions, huh? That's what? That's where she is right now. Doing some things abroad. She's what? That's what she's doing right now, where she works. That's what she's doing now. Right now, where she works. Because I'm seeing God will just cause them to like her. 
it's not every man that is a foolish and a stupid man there are people who are out to genuinely bless yes, sir. and I pray for your daughter and I connect her by the spirit Amen. in the name of Jesus Amen. she will find these people Amen. and in the name of Jesus she will shift her to another dimension Amen. mama God is saying I should tell you forgive does it make sense to you my husband also is a lawyer but your husband is a lawyer yes, yes. what was the issue nothing is happening don't worry ma do you know why you fell under the anointing you fell on behalf of all the troubles in your it wasn't just your personal falling alone there are times that you fall representing all of these troubles because this is not what I'm even saying God is saying I should tell you to forgive forgiveness now it doesn't make sense and god has not given me an interpretation but let me tell you this you see look up the average person seated here has been hurt by someone whether friends are we together uncles relatives people you trusted and they betrayed you let me tell you something about unforgiveness unforgiveness is a terrible spirit It's one of the master secrets to delay unforgiveness it will keep you in one place forever you are there angry and annoyed and most of what you'll be angry about is legitimate however you see forgiveness is a type of giving understand this forgiveness is still the, the giving grace that helps men to forgive the only thing with forgiveness is that you give in advance are we together the highest form of forgiveness is tolerance where you know it will happen again and you build a system around it to not hurt you we live in a society that is so hot conscious this one hurt me this one did this there are too many things that can create offense the bible says in nothing should you be offended it's a choice mama in the name of jesus please don't cry i don't know what it is and why you are crying but my dear comfort your mother after the prayer eh? in the name of Jesus what is before you is greater than anything that has caused you pain and in the name of Jesus forgive in the name of Jesus forgive I also pray for someone here do you know there are many couples that have not been able to forgive one another in marriages it can last for 10 years 20 years same room same bed but that bitterness especially for the men we don't know that this might be the secret the bible says for dishonoring your wife the consequence is that your heavens will be closed it's not a lie that's why you see men struggle and struggle and simple things become hard because of the propensity for bitterness make up your mind in this miracle service that you will let go and not only forgive but tolerate i wish i can tell you there are some things your loved ones are doing that they will never do again but they will do it every time a door is about to open here offense comes it's a choice i will not be offended are we together father we pray for our daddy in the name of jesus the kind of miracle that god will do in the life of this man let it be so powerful that everybody around will know that this is the doing of the lord i decree it and i establish it in the name of jesus christ there is a gentleman here we are going to pray goodness you see how time just runs there's a gentleman here you are a member of mountain of fire where are you mountain of fire you are a serious brother mountain of fire now please I'm, I'm not just saying you attend don't listen to instructions please right MFM my friend you are serious you come from where MFM Kano MFM Kano, how about yes, you? Calabar. MFM Calabar, how about you? Lagos. Lagos. I want to pray. I'm not saying if you are from MFM, just come out like that. There are particular people. It doesn't matter what denomination you are from. Once you are here, huh? this is a universal, this is a master key. It will complement on what every grace and every man and woman of God is doing. But I want to pray for you. My friend, I, I'm, going, I'm first going to pray for you. Where are you from? I'm from a quiet bomb state. There is serious witchcraft sitting on your destiny. Yes, I hope sir. you are not embarrassed. Yes, sir. Yes, uh, sir. 
you need help you have prayed stand up please you are a prayer warrior you can pray you can do fasting huh? sometimes you just need a grace to help you you hear what I tell you I'm going to pray for you if I don't pray for you I'm seeing the spirit of death start sweeping people in your family like that like play like play until he starts killing people but let me tell you don't despise yourself you need a lot of mentorship but you are going to be a mighty vessel in the hand of God this brother you see is very serious with God huh? very serious with God you just need the right support impartations and a mentorship system that makes for balance in your life hold my hand father what's your name Huh? and Tony Tony in the name of Jesus everything that represents witchcraft I join my faith with that of your father and your leader Dr. Daniel Odikoya and I decree in the name of Jesus be free now I decree by the power of the Holy Spirit the spirit of death far from your dwelling in the name of Jesus Christ I want to pray for you who is looking for a job uh -uh, I'm not saying I'm not on employment I'm talking to these guys that I, of course I know that people are trusting God for jobs where did you apply huh? the Lord says I should pray for you that they will give you do I know you applied for a job stand up prophecy is powerful in a moment God can just change things like that my dear let me tell you this it's not even the issue of Kaduna State Civil Service alone huh? God is going to give you unusual influence it will marvel you are we together now hold my hands you believe what i'm telling you yes father confirm your word in a way that will surprise this lady let that rejected stone in the name of jesus become the chief cornerstone receive of that grace in the name of jesus i speak it so i make it so i establish it by the power of prophecy let me pray for you gentlemen i don't know if it's you or someone related to you but there's someone god is giving a job someone looking for a job but i want to pray for you father you called out the gentlemen from MFM Kano and the remaining places. I decree and declare by the God of heaven that everything that represents witchcraft in your life, let it give way now. In the name of Jesus, let it give way now. Even by the power of the Holy Spirit. The Lord is showing me a lady. I'm not going to ask you to come. God bless you. But I'm lifting up my hand. I'm seeing... You know how you cover a bride when you are about to marry before they remove that thing from her face. This is what I'm seeing. But that one is not bride of wedding. This is evil. Covering your entire, a human being with almost no head. Huh? And the Lord is saying I should pray that that veil be torn. I don't know who that person is. But right now the power of God is going. There, there, there are many of you I perceive. In the name of Jesus. That veil that has covered you so that no good thing finds you by the god of heaven and in the name of jesus the christ of god i declare that fail turn into pieces now turn into pieces now inside outside online turn into pieces now the last case i attend to and then we'll begin to pray for the sick nothing ever lasts in your hand this is the problem you are trusting God for. In fact, it's one of your requests. Nothing, many good things continue to happen, but they never last. If a, if a season of open door comes, three, four months, sometimes men can come into your life or women can come into your life and after two, three months, for reasons you cannot explain, you have never sustained any blessing for up to two years. As it comes, you will see it. Sometimes you will go to bed in the night and you will have a dream. You may see someone come maybe to molest you or to attempt to have an affair with you. This is what I'm seeing. The moment that thing happens, it will not be up to one month and every good thing goes down. But I'm praying right now. 
in the name of Jesus whoever belongs to this category every attachment you have with spirits that are not of the Christ that warrant visitations in the night to molest and oppress you and spy into your liberty I declare by the Spirit of God be free now be free now help them please be free now be free now my dear come you come hold my hands it's your it's a new season for you by the anointing of the holy ghost step into a new season i've touched you I saw you climbing a ladder in the spirit. I release you into that dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. We have to hurry up and pray for the sick now. Now please watch this. This lady jumping. Shame and reproach. I call it by his name. And I command it to leave you now. shame and reproach to leave you and let you go in the name of Jesus someone will run by the anointing to me don't stop the person just hold the person this is what I'm seeing by the spirit this is a ministry of signs and wonders why these things I'm not saying to run consciously I'll send you back this is by the anointing please there is order in the house of God order in the church are we together the, the hand of God now as I speak is coming upon you. My soul longs and even thirsts for you. My heart and my flesh cries out for the living God. For the living God. Incline your ears with trembling and tears of yearning to the throne of grace to seek your face and burning longing for you I need you I need you I need you help me nothing no place no one else will do I need you I declare to all of you that came out by the spirit I shift you go forward now go forward now the power that holds you down I take authority over it in the name of Jesus go forward now I release your families to go forward now in the name of Jesus now please hear me our time is gone we have to be fast now listen for those who will be laying hands on you don't think that because it is not joshua selman laying hands on you remember i told you that there is a grace that everyone who is called to serve in this ministry and designated and mandated carries that grace we're about to pray for the sick now now listen please there are three conditions that i will want to minister lay hands on the people myself remember don't tell lies you cannot come to the truth lying are we together don't insist that i just want joshua selman to touch that's not the idea aside from those who are in the main auditorium that i request to come out if you're trusting god for a miracle if you are here and you are suffering from cancer number one number two you are suffering from hiv number three you are suffering from barrenness it doesn't matter what overflow you are in if you have any of these three cases please with those who are in the main auditorium i want you to join them and come otherwise please all the overflows move to your projector screen and stand there all as directed by the ushers or protocol anyone trusting god for to be prayed for for healing right now i want you to make your way to the front quickly and then in addition to that the three cases i've mentioned 
you come into the main auditorium and join please quickly we have to hurry up overflow one please walk to your projector stand overflow two i don't know from where now as directed walk to your projector stand overflow three walk to your projector stand um my god i don't know if there's overflow two b then just walk as you are directed somebody should stand in front of them and direct them appropriately please overflow four um also just move to your projector stand or as directed those online following from whatever nation of the world just connect by faith as we pray hallelujah now please watch this our time is gone and we're going to be doing this very fast listen please if you are here and you're yet to write your prayer request per adventure you are coming for the first time and you need an opportunity to write your prayer request please someone help them with a piece of paper or whatever it is that you will need everyone you can pen down your prayer request now when you're done please lift it and there will be ushers PR help them protocol help them whoever needs to help them let's make it very fast overflow one two three those online I believe that theirs has also been collated we're going to have everything now so that as soon as we are done we'll pray for the request the moment you are done please wave it or pass it to the person um, at the aisle where it can be picked give them room to write if you need a piece of paper you can help your friend or wave your hand Praise the Lord. Thank God we have some hands tonight. Um, Pastor Jakes and Ejimi will do overflow three. Since there will be several people there, overflow three. They'll be ministering to overflow three. Benga will go to overflow one. Promise overflow one, two. Um, Kenny overflow two. Two A now. Uh, two A or two B. Praise the Lord. Isaac overflow two B. Praise the Lord. Ima overflow. Overflow what now? What is left? Huh? Overflow. The last overflow. Where overflow four? Okay. No overflow. To be go to overflow four. Praise the Lord. It will have to be a very quick walk because there are several people. I'll minister to the people here. Praise the Lord. Now please listen. Please except they want to talk to you prophetically don't worry listen just a touch is all that you need and i want you to believe by faith as soon as they touch you do what you couldn't do head back to your seat unfortunately because of the limited time we may not have time to take testimonies as you would have seen in many of my external ministrations for two reasons one this is a miracle service dedicated to ministering to people if we we'll pray and say if you are healed come out it will take a lot of time we don't have that luxury of time praise the lord so we are doing three things at the same time one we are praying for the sick has, prom has promised okay 
Pastor Alpha, oh, uh, who is in overflow one? Only you, two of you. Okay, Pastor Alpha, join them in overflow three. Pastor Femi, uh huh, he, Pastor Femi should go to. Did I give you a place? Pastor Femi, join um, overflow two. Two B, okay, with with Ima now. Two B or four. You are in two. Only you. Okay, so um, Femi, please join him in overflow four. Overflow four. Praise the Lord. Just direct them. Father, in the name of Jesus, we stand by this corporate grace. And we declare, let there be miracles right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Please write your requests, believing the worship team will lead us through a time of worship while we are doing this. It will be very fast. Afterwards, I will just pray and prophesy to everyone and then we'll try to tie it up tonight but whilst you are sitting make sure you connect by faith you can involve your loved ones let them know that god is moving right now he's blessing people lord we give you all the praise let there be great miracles by the spirit of god in jesus name i pray praise the lord thank you for your patience please rise up on your feet if they are still praying for you where wherever whatever overflow don't worry just just hang on there please stretch your hands to this request as we pray i'd like you to open your mouth and begin to declare by the spirit unto you that answers prayer shall all flesh come please lift your voice everyone let's have all the requests here please if there are people who are here to submit Shabarus kabarata shiketia Embratu says yalakata I'd like you to stretch your hands to these requests as you declare that these Egyptians that I see today I see no more forever Shabratus kabarus shiketia Rakata barandas kete balakoto shiata Embratus kabarus shalakatus Rekete baruda shiata Lord, turn impossible situations around in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, release miracles, release solutions, break yokes, oh God. Turn around family situations for your name's sake. Reveal callings, reveal destinies. Let your people find purpose. Let your people find direction. Make sure you are praying. Lord, stay the power of darkness over the requests of your people. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Please agree with me in the name of Jesus. Amen. Louder amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, tonight we come to you, the God that can answer prayers. And Lord, I decree, standing in the presence of your people, thousands of people have submitted their requests a representation of their expectations their pain their disappointments their anticipations lord i decree and declare that every spirit that is back of these problems we declare lose your grip now lose your grip now number two I declare that every grace that needs to be released towards you for these requests to be granted by the message of the God of heaven we decree and declare by faith we channel these graces to you every human agent whose mind needs to be touched by God to allow these requests to be answered in the name of Jesus, we call on the Father of Spirits to touch them on that wise. And every request that remains because of the hardness of the hearts of men, we 
break that hardness now. Father, answer speedily. Lord, answer speedily. Turn situations around. Every death sentence represented in this request, we declare that death sentence is cancelled. In the name of Jesus. And so, Father, we give you praise because we declare by faith, the very faith of the Son of God, that these requests are met in Jesus' name. As I stand upon these requests, I declare by the spirit of faith that in the mighty name of Jesus, that which God has done now remains permanent in Jesus' name. And I prophesy over you by the God of heaven, the Egyptians that you see today, that pursued you from Egypt to the Red Sea and beyond, I declare by the Spirit, you will see them no more forever. No matter how long you have been in Egypt, if you go out of Egypt, no going back. In the name of Jesus, between now and the next three weeks, may the God of heaven, in the name of Jesus, 21 days was the maximum time of contention in the realm of the spirit. I decree and declare it will not exceed three weeks. Hear me. There are things that have no business happening in your life that will be made to happen. Creation did not stop on the seventh day, God only rested. Please understand this. Creation did not stop. There is nowhere in the Bible that God stopped creating. Mm -mm. Creation, God only took a break. But creation continues. Not just plants and animals. To create means to make material, to create a scenario out of nothing. You have no business getting a job before the year runs. But the word can create. You have no business coming out of pain. You have no business. But the word, the Rima word, revealed, backed by the power of God. You have no business being healed today. But the Bible says to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. To appoint means to set the date when it happens. Not only to reveal that it will happen, to make it happen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please hear me. Shake away unbelief from your mind as we begin to pray. Don't let the, the devil will use the flesh. This is not the first time you are attending a miracle service, he will tell you. This is not the first time men of God are praying for you. The moment those things come, you have the responsibility of fortifying your mind. You refuse, reject it. You can insist by faith that tonight is my night. You can insist by faith. Father, the grace that has not come upon my life before tonight is the night it will come. Lord, the dimension that have not been opened to yet, this is the night I will receive. Hear me. Hear me. There are no special days for anybody. It is your faith that makes it special. The Bible said today, if you hear his voice, any day can be that today. Mm. Are we together? Blind Bartimeo is at the way towards Jericho. And Jesus will be passing for the last time. And the guy would have said one day he will come back again. And he would have missed it. The Bible says he cried. He cried, thou son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus looks at him and with what you would think is sarcasm, he said, what should I do for you? And then he says to regain my sight. And that man regained his sight. Only people who insist.
assist with understanding receive anything hoping and wishing that God will touch me is a waste of time we'll share the grace and you'll go back frustrated but there are people who have come some of you have been fasting some of you traveled from outside of this nation within this nation with hunger there are people standing outside people following online why will you allow the service finish and you just go back like that you are a man of God you have come from far why don't you carry something of substance that you can go back with as a witness that you met with the power of God is God speaking to us one scripture and then we'll pray Isaiah 61 this is a scripture that is very powerful the hand of God is moving in overflow one I continue to see this thing overflow one I'm seeing it's an impartation it's not just a deliverance there is a pouring of graces that is coming on specific people the Spirit of the Lord is upon me because the Lord had ordained the word anointed there is ordained ordained me to preach good tidings to the meek he had sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, the opening of prison to them that are bound. Verse 2. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord, the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all that mourn all not some three to appoint unto them that mourn in zion giving them beauty for ashes the oil of joy for mourning the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness it says that they might be called the trees or the oaks of righteousness the planting of the lord that he might be glorified go to verse 4 and they shall build the old wastes they shall raise up the former desolations. They shall repair the waste cities and the desolations of many generations. I believe in the power of God. I believe in the anointing of the Holy Ghost. I believe in the limitless dimension of what the Spirit of God can do upon it. How shall these things be, Mary said, seeing that I know not a man. He says, the power of the highest shall overshadow, not come upon, overshadow. You are under the influence of the Spirit of God. And under the influence of the Holy Spirit, there is nothing that cannot happen. Please listen to me. Under the influence of the Spirit, time can be compressed. Under the influence of the Holy Spirit, there are things that should not happen, but can happen. Now the Lord is that spirit, the Bible says. This Lord we have been talking about is that spirit. Not just the Father seated on the throne. The Lord who delivered the righteous. The Lord who anoints is that spirit. And it says where the spirit of the Lord is, you will know that he is there by the miracles. You know that he's there, not just because you ask him to come alone. You are here, working miracles. I worship you. I worship you. You are here, turning lives around. I worship you. I worship you. You are here, releasing destinies. I worship you. I worship you.
so you know he's in a place not just because you believe by faith but there are tokens there are representations that attest to and validate the fact that he's in the midst of his people listen let me tell you my brothers and my sisters tonight you are in for an encounter you are in for an experience it's a shift in the spirit and i want you to believe we are immersed in an atmosphere of limited possibilities limitless possibilities do not allow the devil to lie to you that your case is so great that god cannot meet you that god cannot touch you let god be true and let every man be a liar hallelujah now but listen i learned this from pastor benny Hinn. i will share this briefly and then we'll begin to pray haven't worked in the healing ministry for more than half of a century benny Hinn shared that one of the challenges he had observed with people when the power of god begins to move is they are not ready to release the pain the sickness the infirmity you will think just because you are in God's presence and you expect him to touch you to heal you he will not take something from you that you are still holding back this mystery was demonstrated in the woman with the alabaster box when she came to Jesus the Bible says it was made of spikenard pure nard a year's wages she broke it at his feet and it became an instrument of worship there are people who come with medical reports they come with pain they are just coming to inform God that this is what they are going through they are not ready for the exchange yet listen this is a very simple but powerful spiritual key when you come to God the Bible says the instruction is to believe that he exists number two that he is the rewarder of them who diligently seek him how does he reward there must always be an exchange your weakness for his strength the miracle the testimony are we together now so you must be able to hand over everything here's how the Bible puts it all my cares and burdens unto you I that's a part of the song that is powerful Lord I come to you with this array of family challenges I'm handing it over to you I don't expect to go empty there are many people whether God touches you or not you will go back full because you didn't give him anything until you transfer the burden the sickness the bible says cast all your cares it didn't say god will do it it is your responsibility to say lord i'm tired of carrying this infirmity i'm tired of carrying this evil report i bring it before you and i cast it down when you are now empty god says i now exchange that which you have brought for what i have brought nobody comes before god empty and God does not come before any man empty. The problem is there must be willingness for the exchange. God will not rest upon you when your hands are full, when your mind is full. Listen, it is very important. You are a man of God here. If all you come to give God is frustration of ministry, Lord, the church is not growing. Lord, this and that, that's, that, mm -mm, that's not the issue. Lord, I hand over everything. Come So it's time to carry your bills that is killing you and surrender it before him. It, listen, it's time to take the sickness. It's time to take the, all the concerns. Don't take some and leave some. Carry everything. Ah. I cast my crown before the highest
cast my crown before the highest royalty. I am mandan before your glorious majesty. You're the King of kings and lords. When your hands are too heavy, you cannot receive anything. You will need to take away, bring the report from your office. Bring the report from a doctor. Bring everything. When you lay it at his feet, you now lift your hand ready to receive the healing, the miracle. You don't come before God just to inform him. No. God is not interested in just being aware. He's interested in doing something. Cast your care. Listen. Coming to God and releasing everything is proof of faith. That you come before him and say, Lord, if you do not help me, I don't know where the house rent is coming from. We are 11 in this family and it's clear that there is a yoke upon this family. You may think, listen, you may think because you have always appearing before him, it means you are casting your care. No. You have to intentionally, consciously say, Lord, I don't want this sickness again. Take it. I'm tired of this life of poverty and failure. I'm tired of this life without results. Are we together now? Yes. And one of the ways that we cast our care is through worship. Another way that we cast our care is through prayer. Very powerful. You can pray and say, Lord, take everything. Take everything. Tired of the burden of ministry. Tired of the burden of my family. This is not how you designed me to work. Take it. And then when you are now empty, remember when there was no more vessel, the oil stopped. Are we together tonight? It does not take God anything to lift you. It does not take God anything to bless you. It does not take God anything to cause men to bless and honor and lift you. Listen. Benny Hinn said that many people come to his healing crusades and they are ever conscious of their sicknesses, conscious of their infirmity, and even when the power of God is flowing, the fortitude for reception is not there because they are busy meditating. The size of this problem, can God solve it? And God is wondering and saying, who told you, who, who educated you about me? Who told you about me? The Lord, the maker of the heavens and the earth. Tonight, God is able to transform. Tonight, God is able to heal. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. To transform and to heal. Apostle, you don't understand the gravity of my situation. That's why. It's your mind and your perception that is being enlarged by the power of darkness. When God comes, the Bible says the mountains keep. Skip. And he clears a way for you. Is someone ready to pray? Please rise up on your feet. I'll give us two prayer points before I begin to minister. And I want us to please pray. Please pray. Hallelujah. The first prayer 
is you are going to ask the Lord, listen carefully, you are going to ask the Lord to do something to your faith tonight. I agree and I concur that sometimes the prevailing challenges can be so great and so mighty. You will sit down and begin to wonder in our finite minds, how will God navigate this and bring and birth this miracle for me? Are we together now? This is where the spirit of faith comes. The faith of God. It says, this is the victory that overcomes even our faith. You're going to pray, Lord, my faith is strong. I believe you. I believe you. Lift your voice and pray. Let it be from the depth of your heart. Tonight, my faith is strong. I believe that this is the night, the night when you transform, the night when you heal, the night when you deliver, the night when you turn my family around. Is someone praying? This is the night of your power, the night of your glory. Salatas. This beginning of miracles did Jesus in the presence of his disciples and manifested his glory. Manifest your glory, O God. Father, help my own belief. I reject unbelief. They limited God in the wilderness by saying, can God make a way? Can God make a way? You are in ministry. Pray. Tonight is a night when you expand. When you receive. You are in business. Pray. Career. Pray. You are in ministry. Pray. For your family. Pray. Release your faith. Shila barakato salabradigesh. Raka parodo shubrata labaruda selekash. Raka taparada barado selebradi shale kurianda kasalabash. Hallelujah. Listen. Prayer point number two. The Bible says, "Ye have not because ye ask not. You have not." Because you ask not. He said, ask and you will receive that your joy may be complete. Ask and you will receive. He didn't say, give us any day. Give us this day. Our daily bread. Listen, when you come to God, it is not only important that you are aware of who he is. But you must come to God stating specifically the way and the manner that you desire or the area that you trust him to step in and come through for you for. Every time Jesus would meet with a blind man, a lame man, he would ask them, what do you want? That you are lame does not mean you want to stand. You must be able to verbalize your requests. You must be able to communicate. Listen, I know that many of you have written your prayer request, but I want to give you the next two or three minutes alone with God. Open your mouth and state the things that you desire by faith to happen to you tonight. Lift your voice and pray. Someone is talking to the Lord. Communicate your expectation. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. Our mouths were filled with laughter and said they among the hidden. The Lord had done great things for us. It says the Lord had done great things for us whereof we are glad. Then it says turn again our captivity like the streams of the south. Lift your voice and pray. Pray with faith in your heart. Oh, 
Kalabaruta Shalabragadabalarabo Santa Lato Shalagradida Dabaladaba Rekete Baladaba Someone is praying Lord my ministry is about to catch fire There is a dimension of grace that must land upon my life There is an operation of the spirit that must rest upon me Is someone praying I will never be the same I've touched your grace My life is changed I will never be the same My life I will never be the same I've touched your grace My life is changed I will never be the same My life is changed I will never be the same My life is changed I will never be the same My life is changed I will never be the same My life is changed Listen, please look up. It is not very difficult for a man's situation to change. God is not a magician. You will need to release your faith with understanding. You are before the God of all flesh, the doer, the worker of wonders. He's truly a miracle worker. Please believe in miracles. Believe in miracles. They are not a fabrication of human intelligence. No, no. God can work miracles. God does miracles. God delivers. God heals. God lifts. God transforms. God sets free. That's what his grace can do. Never be the same. I've touched your grace. My life must change. I will never stay the same. I've touched your grace. My life is changed. I will never preach the same. I've touched your grace. My life is changed. I will never see the same. I've touched your grace. My life is changed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the atmosphere of God's glory, listen. Don't wait until you are called by prophecy. Don't wait until you are prophesied upon. Let your heart be open to receive. Let your heart be opened to rise in the spirit. I want to pray now. Please listen. Listen to me. The power of God is very strong here. Let's work together now, guys. Deliverance, when kept within the boundaries of the word of God, is powerful. Listen, because for many of us, let me tell you this, I submit to you. Listen, please don't inconvenience the guests. The space is all right. Just, just let them be, please. Listen, it's an interesting thing that many believers are unwilling to accept that behind many tragedies are spirits.
please understand this behind many operations listen when jesus was going to calm the storm every storm is made of two things wind and water you can see the water but you cannot see the wind every storm is made of wind and water there is no storm that is made of water alone jesus rebuked the water he rebuked the wind and the water was still there is no problem that is as a physical problem there are spirits back of it whether it is financial marital spiritual one of the biggest deceptions of darkness is to believe that your issue is just sociological or just marital no sir no sir there are spirits more spirits than men on the earth in one man there was a legion in one man that's to tell you how much scarce bodies are on earth for these spirits six thousand spirits in one man please listen to what i tell you your financial situation can be masquerading itself and dribbling you all around and it, yes there are principles here and there but hear me you are not free until the spirit that sponsor the operation is dealt with are we together there are you can only judge situations by what has affected you the one that has not affected you yet is there but just because it has not happened yet you may not know so the secret is to address the spirits behind it and not wait for them to create different scenarios that show you they are there are we together when we pray and minister to people listen we're, we're a very we're a very balanced bible-based ministry and let me tell you this by the spirit of god you do not help men when you leave the spirit that is back of their situations to go back with them now i know that here and there people abuse these things and do all kinds of nonsense that are not within the jurisdiction of scripture this is not what we are talking about we are talking of liberty that is provable that you can walk out before the service is done you are seeing the evidence that this is what has masqueraded itself you will never be the same you've touched his grace your life must change you will never be the same you've touched his grace your life must change You can be a man of God here greatly ministry you are anointed but things may not be working and you may just think the issue is just ministry ethics preaching well that is wonderful but let me tell you he said I desire once and again to come to you but Satan hindered us it is not only angels that are on assignment there are spirits on assignment there are demons on assignment there are powers that are on assignment Zechariah chapter 1 verse 18 what seest thou four horns these are the horns that have lifted up themselves against Judah against Jerusalem and against Israel that these horns have made it that no man don't lift his head he said but I have sent four carpenters it's a reality behind many families are spirits behind many medical reports are spirits behind many repeated patterns of frustration are spirits oh, oh, oh.
I shared the testimony of a gentleman many years ago. He was in ministry and um, I had the opportunity to counsel him. And while I was talking with him, as he entered my room, I saw a spirit just entering with him. And I looked at this dear gentleman, lovely, adorable, wonderful person. And I was politely going to hint him to say, sir, the Lord is already showing me what is behind your problem. And ah, the gentleman just shot me down and said, no, no, no. Don't talk to me about this and that. I said, that's all right. No problem. I respect you. I do this. Let me just pray with you. That's all I requested from him. The last thing he could remember was me beginning to pray. And then when he recovered from himself, like almost an hour later on, he got up. And for the next three days, this gentleman kept reaching me and said, Apostle, you have rattled my theology. What is this? Doors began to open like a charm in that gentleman's life. Listen, I hope you know that there was a relationship between the doors that were closed and the chains in the hand of Paul and Silas. It's very strange. They were bound hand and feet, the Bible says, at midnight. They lifted up their voices. They prayed and they sang. Suddenly, there was an earthquake because God himself came. And then, listen, the Bible says the moment there was that earthquake, the chains by themselves fell. Immediately, the chains fell. He said, all doors open, not some. All doors. There was no use of key. The key was that chain. As the chain fell, the doors opened. Please, I'd like you to pray in one minute. Father, if there is any spirit entity that is back of my situation, it must live by the spirit and the grace of God. Lift your voice and pray. By the power of the Holy Ghost, tonight in the name of Jesus, every spirit that is not of the Christ, that is back of the situation around my life, my family, my business, my ministry. Pray. Hallelujah. You see, the power of God is already touching people. Listen, I'm going to take a few minutes tonight to really address this issue of spirits because they are real. They are very, very real. Very real. Hallelujah. I have met so many spirits in my life. I've had so many encounters. That's not the basis of believing they are there. Scripture already tells us they are there. But let me tell you, they are there. And they are not there doing nothing. They are there causing pain. They are there manipulating families. They are there projecting things that are not of the Christ. But the Bible says, now the Lord is that spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Let's pray. I want to begin to pray now. Please listen. Whether or not you are an usher, I'd like you to help those under the anointing. We are going to do a lot of praying this night while I'm ministering. Um, please participate in the prayer. Prayer is very powerful when done with understanding. Are we together? Now I want to pray for you and then begin to minister to people. Because there are real spirits behind people's situations. Hallelujah. First, I want you to bring out now. I'm not going to say anything. God is giving me an instruction. The power of God, I'm already seeing something like a blue smoke rising out of people. And these are spirits. And when that happens, the power of God will come upon them. I want you, whether outside or inside, just begin to bring them out here. We're going to pray and call on that name now. But the Lord is revealing to me. You will be very surprised. Some of you are standing for yourself, standing for your family. Please bring them out. This is the instruction God is giving. 
except God is not God. There is no spirit that is back of any one situation that will remain after tonight. Please quickly just bring them out. I'm seeing the power of God. I don't know why God is giving me this instruction. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. I will contend with them that contend with you. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. Please bring them out. Let's just walk with what the Holy Ghost is doing. The strangers that must come out of their hiding place and let you be and let your family be. There's fire burning in this place. One more minute and then we'll pray. God is still locating people inside and outside. It's time for your liberty and your liberty in full, in full by the Spirit. Establishing the victory of the Christ over every life, every destiny. Alright, we are ready to pray. Please lift your hands, let me pray now. I'm seeing fire. That fire is coming on people as I pray. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. As you shout that name, Jesus, I declare by the blood of the eternal covenant that every legal access upon which the devil is laying claim over lives, over bodies, over finances, over destinies, I invoke help that woman by the blood of the eternal covenant. It must go now at the count of three. Shout, Jesus. One, two, three. I cause darkness by the power of the Holy Ghost. Bring them out. In the name of Jesus, I command the powers that be by the blood of the eternal covenant that everything that binds men to spirits binds men to realities in the spirit. I come against it by the God of Jeshurun. Please bring them out. We release a sound in the realm of the spirit. We declare sounds of victory. We are still praying, my God. Chains. I'm seeing chains in the spirit. One more time, you are going to shout that name. Lord, if there is anyone here under any kind of chain, the Bible says to release them that are bound. As you shout that name, no matter how long that chain has stayed, it's time for you to be released. Are you ready now? Thank you, Father, for the honor of your word. One, two, three, shout Jesus. I break those chains now. I break those chains now. I break those chains now. Over families. Over businesses. I break those chains now. Hallelujah. 
the Lord is showing me the vision of a graveyard I'm seeing the vision of a graveyard and the Lord wants me to rebuke the spirit of the grave the spirit of Hades I stand by the God of heaven and I declare right now anyone covenanted to the power of the grave the covenant with death the covenant with the grave by fire may that fire fall on you now the covenant with the grave the covenant with death I speak by the anointing of the Holy Ghost be free now be liberated now be free now Hallelujah. Now listen, we're going to pray for the sick, but I'm sensing a unique grace for the healing of growths and lungs. Growths and lungs. This is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing like a woman on a surgical table. This is what I'm seeing. I'm speaking right now. Every spirit behind the infirmity. My God, I'm seeing fire fall on people. Right now in the name of Jesus. Every lump, every growth fibroids, malignant growth, cancerous tissues by the spirit of the living God. Let the life and the power of God touch you now. Let the life, help them please. Let the life and the power of God in the name of Jesus, I command those crows to leave those bodies now. I command them to dissolve now. Help that lady, please. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Growths. I'm still seeing growths coming out of people's bodies. Swellings of all kinds. This is not limited to women alone, including men. Be free now in the name of Jesus. And we will never settle for less. We know there's more that's found in And we will never settle for less. We know, we know there's more Everyone here in front in this overflow and all the overflows i declare that the spirits that lay claim upon any aspect of your life i stand by the rod of a higher priesthood and i command them to leave now pack your load and go at the count of three one two three go 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 out of their destinies now out of their lives forever out of their lives forever out of their homes forever forever hallelujah please pay attention we are still praying now the Lord is showing me something that I don't see very often I'm seeing an old gate and I'm seeing chains on it with a padlock this is a sign of stagnation. You are here and mysteriously, you have been in the same position. You try to move, you try to push. I'm about to smash that gate to pieces. Not to open it, to stamp it down. He has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in thunder. Now help them please. Listen, I want you to shout Jesus from the depth of your heart. I decree and declare every destiny here that has been tied down by men, by systems, by spirits, so that you cannot move. By this shout of the healer tonight, I declare every gate crushed and comes down now. Are you ready? At the count of three. One, two, three. I prophesy to you, move forward, go forward, go forward.
forward, go forward. Stagnation comes to an end. Ritro apakoto shala rekete kete kete parus kaba embregeto sheleto sabaka. Stagnation comes to an end. Retrogression comes to an end. Hallelujah. Who is Bukola? I'm hearing the name Bukola. Bukola. Our time is gone. There is still a lot to do. Who is Bukola? Don't worry. Don't force and rush those who are standing in front. You are Bukola. Where are you coming from? Let me pray for you, my dear. Stand up and I'll pray for you. You are also Bukola. My dear, hold my hands. This, my, in the name of Jesus, this chain that I'm seeing be loose now. In the name of Jesus, I lose you from that chain. It is broken now and broken forever. In the name of Jesus. The Lord is showing me someone you walk in first bank. You walk in first bank. Who is that person? You need a serious miracle now. You walk in first bank. First bank. Let's hurry up, please. You walk. Who is that first bank? All of you are Bukola. Ma, let me speak to you. The grace for wealth. Stand up. I'm looking at you and I'm seeing currencies falling on you. And the Lord is telling me that there is a strange grace for wealth. This, this, is, this should be Kingsley's wife. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare by the spirit of the Lord, let that word come to pass now. I release you by the power of prophecy into that dimension. Prepared blessings by the spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I'll pray for everyone, but the power of God is going to come on one of you now. Very mighty anointing is coming on one of you, and God is setting that person's family free. One of these Bukolas, right? So the power of God is coming on you, one of you. It, this is not something small. It's a, a mighty outpouring of the power of God. When that happens, um, I will just identify that one. Who works in First Bank? First Bank, you are a staff. Huh? No, you are not a staff of First Bank. You are on contract. Is that true? You are on contract. I will still pray. This person I'm seeing is a bona fide staff of the bank. I want to pray for you because I'm seeing something that can cost you your job. Father, show this, my dear brother, mercy by the grace of God. Look at me, sir. I'm seeing a whirlwind on your head. I need to pray against confusion and pray against stagnation. I declare in the name of Jesus, you are set free now and you are free forever. In the name of Jesus. Please make sure you are observing the ladies. The power of God is going to come on one. That's the instruction God is giving me. It's very mighty anointing. When it comes on that one, I want to pray for them. Your father is a general in the army. Who is that? Your dad is a general in the army. I need to pray. We need to rebuke conspiracies. The Lord is showing me your father. Is it a general in the army? Real army, military. Please, if you are that person, I want you to come. If you are that person, I want you to come. I want to pray for you. This is conspiracy. In the name of Jesus, over her family, let there be a mighty deliverance. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for all of you for the various reasons why you have come out. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the Lord himself give you testimonies. Very strange testimonies. In the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. The Lord is showing me a vision. I'm seeing a family of five ladies. There's no marriage. One, two, three, four, five. Five ladies. Nobody has settled down. Where are you? Please come. Where are you coming from, my dear? From Joss. I want to pray. You are five of you. 
all her life, five ladies, no one has settled down. What do you do? Contract staff with Sterling Bank. Wait. Sterling Bank. Sterling Bank. Yes. You will leave the bank soon. Amen. Listen to me. There is another job that is coming for you. When that job comes, don't fight it. It's the will of God. You hear what I'm saying? I'm not saying you should go and retire now. But I'm telling you that another job is coming. Let's pray. It's not normal. We need to break this. I'm seeing three ladies in my vision. I don't know why there's only one person here. These five, five families. Please make sure you don't tell lies. Don't just come and stand here if it's not. I will pray for everybody. Five families. None. Not one person has settled down. Ladies now. Don't cry, my dear. Jesus is in this place. Release the family now. Release the family now. I'm looking at this lady and I'm seeing coals of fire and I'm seeing a horn on it. Release the family now. There is someone here. This is a very mysterious thing that happens to you. In a very strange way. This happens especially when you pray for extended periods. Your whole body starts itching you in a funny way. You know how someone under the influence of a, what they call that drug? Chloroquine. That's what happens to you. Like physically you begin to scratch your body. I must pray for you. Why is she here? Please. You are the one? Come. Come. Madam, you too. Where are you coming from, ma? You are coming from Abuja. Come. We we'll attend to the photos you are holding here, eh? but for now, we need to pray for you. This is, this is not just evil, very evil. I have to pray for you. You too, my brother. Where are you coming from? God. You see, my dear people, I'm, no, I'm not saying if your body is itch, listen to the, the, the issue. I just saw fire, this rope, right down, just like a sword of fire just passed. I don't know who that is for, but in the name of Jesus, let it bring emancipation right now. Right now in the name of Jesus. Look at me, my dear. You believe in Jesus? I bring you life from this kingdom that we represent. Be free now from this demonic, satanic oppression. In the name of Jesus. Uh, dear auntie let me pray for you just keep her there can you hold my hands madam i want to pray for you right now in the name that is above all names help her be free right now i cause the workings of darkness over your body and over your life in the mighty name of jesus christ five families hold my hands look at me shout jesus as loud as you can jesus in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, let it be over. Let the doors be opened. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want to pray for you, my dear. I'm looking at you physically, but in the realm of the spirit, I'm seeing an arrow inside your head. I need to pray. There is infirmity that has been projected in your body. I hope you understand what I'm saying. Can I pray for you? Is that all right? Father, help this lady. In the name of Jesus, hold my hands. I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit. Be free from this that does not name the name of Christ. I set you free from it now in the name of Jesus. Five ladies, I'll just lay my hands on you. Be free right now. Let the doors be opened. Be free right now. Kai, let her go. Out now in the name of Jesus. She's also here. Your dad is a general in the army. Where are you from? Gombe State. You are in Abuja, but you are from Gombe State. I like us to pray. Can I pray for you? I'm not a prophet of doom, man. Eh? Don't be afraid. Look at me. Those who plan evil, in the name of Jesus, they will not live to execute their wickedness. You see, Ba, my brothers and my sisters, let me teach you something about life. The Bible says, a man's enemy shall be the members of his own household. Father, preserve the life of this our general. 
in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ there is a family now God is breaking the plague of death the power of God is coming I don't know whether they are inside or outside the plague of death is being broken right now there is a mighty anointing that is coming on that wise to set them free from the plague of death please come very quickly I'll just touch you I don't know why they are here but we have to hurry up very quickly just a touch believe by faith it is over out of her now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus sir where are you coming from I'm coming from Abuja from Abuja yeah. what do you do sir you are a minister of the gospel. I want to pray for you. Where, where, where are you coming from? Where do you come? Your state of origin. Do you plan to go this Christmas? Huh? I went for operation. Listen, that's why I want to talk to you. I'm looking at this man and I'm seeing you were supposed to have died. It's because of the intercession of men that you are alive. But then, I'm, I'm not a prophet of doom. We, anything God shows, we cancel. You get the point now? I'm seeing this man going in a bus, and I'm seeing a truck. I will not mention, I'm not being antagonistic, but the truck did not just shift your car. It climbed it, and everybody gone like that. You see, when God shows a thing, it is because of the strength he has put in his church. The power to change it completely. Are we together? I want to pray for you. You are very sick. And even the surgery has not solved the problem. Because what I'm seeing is still there. Please hold my hand, sir. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son, let this man not be given to the sword. Let him not be given to the grave. In the name of Jesus, I knock on the door of life and I speak to you, sir, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Be set free. I fortify you by the power of God's word and I declare death will be far from your dwelling. I speak that your going out is blessed and safe. Even your coming in is blessed and it is safe. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord show you mercy continually. In Jesus' name I pray. Family of five. I need to pray. Hold my hands. Oh yeah yeah, oh yeah yeah, oh yeah yeah, oh yeah yeah, Yahweh. Yeah, oh yeah yeah, say. Oh yeah yeah, oh yeah yeah, oh yeah yeah, Yahweh. In the name of Jesus, I lose you and your siblings everything that is an orchestration of darkness I speak by the spirit of the living God you are loose now in the name of Jesus I declare liberty I restore dignity and honor what is happening to you I'm seeing an angel of the Lord going out here there's somebody the same thing is happening to someone there the same thing God is doing here God is doing to a lady there I declare be liberated right now in the name of Jesus please come sir let me just touch you by faith in Jesus name be set free come in Jesus name be set free 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 there is someone, I think you are in ministry, you are in overflow one. The power of God is going to come upon you in a mighty way now. Please carry the person and bring the person here. We have to hurry up. I'm seeing the power of God touch the person. Hallelujah. I'm about to release that grace for speed again. Please come. May the Lord bless you. In the name of Jesus. Ah, 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 ah. Shala super ruskiata. I'm seeing the map of Nigeria. And I'm seeing blood dripping around the east. And the Lord is saying, those who are easterners, 
is this is a, this is a sign and a wonder when god shows me a map whenever i mention that location anyone who is oppressed within that location the power of god comes on them right now i'm seeing the east the east i release that power now the Lord is bringing liberation, eastern states. I'm seeing blood drip upon them. In the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I'm seeing an elderly woman with sharp pain around her lumbar vertebra the power of God is touching that woman right now who is the person mommy you're welcome one to pray ah. not everything that looks like sickness is sickness there are many things that are projections of darkness are we together mommy let me pray for you in the name of jesus who is the christ of god help her please in the name of jesus i command that spirit now by the power of the holy ghost release our mother in the name of jesus mommy i command that infirmity that plague and that yoke of darkness be gone right now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ let me just pray for these two people now this lady where's she coming from okay there is it will surprise you how the grace for intercession will come on you this lady this fair lady i'm talking to you in the name of jesus i speak by the power of the holy ghost may that grace mantle you and turn you into a sign and a wonder the Lord will show you things in your dreams. He will show you things in visions. Please bring our mommy for me. Let me pray. In the name of Jesus Christ. Um, just touch her back for me. In the name of Jesus Christ. I declare right now. This is not sickness. This is the spirit of death. I command the spirit of death, hell and the grave. To leave our mother right now. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Complete emancipation complete emancipation in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord is asking me to stretch my hands just here I don't know why but this is what he's saying just right here to the wall I'm seeing I'm seeing people's stomach the abdominal region I'm seeing things like chains. Just bring those under the anointing as I'm talking. I'm seeing things like chains. These are devils of infirmity. The Lord is asking me to just stretch my hand. Please just allow me to do my madness with God here and let the Lord set these people free. Please bring them out. We're hurrying up now in the name of Jesus. Karu salatu ziata. Kariza hashalam barita suba haseketa. Kradu saletu shala sabah hasharata ziakata. Rakata barada balakata prata sada bakato shala branda skabariata. I place my hand on my stomach as a point of contact. Every planting that is not of God, in the name of Jesus Christ, be free from it now. <laughs> Hallelujah. The power of God is coming on one of the ushering ladies one of these ladies with the jerseys i'm seeing an anointing i know you are ministering but this is a miracle god is bringing for you for your family one of the ushering ladies i don't know whether they are inside outside i'm seeing an anointing on one of the ushering ladies this is this is liberty that god is bringing right now Shalus karita hasubadia In the name of Jesus, my dear, look at me. 
shame and reproach is living your life now shame and reproach is living your life now the garment of shame and reproach is living your life now why is this gentleman here you are not the anointing outside come hold my hands in the name of Jesus I pray for you come you lifting your hands run come your time of change has come where are you coming from it's, it's all right it's okay don't worry that's why you are here do you know me that's why I'm saying you just relax you were in the crowd and God brought you here do you know why God brought you here because things are not working at all in your family God needs to turn things around if I don't pray for you what I'm seeing is you are celebrating Christmas morning and blaming people being the reason why somebody died and another person died because I'm seeing the spirit of death hovering around your family but the Bible says now the Lord is that spirit let me pray for you hold my hands my dear what did you study Do you have a job? I'm, I'm a copper in Ondo State. I'm, work, I'm, I'm a copper. I'm serving an NGO mm. for HIV in Ondo State. I want to pray for you. The favor of God that will come upon you from this miracle service will surprise you. You believe that? In the name of Jesus, I stay the power of evil over your family. And in the name of Jesus, I release you to a realm and a dimension of strange favor. Receive that grace in Jesus' name. We're going to pray for the sick shortly, but I want to release this grace for speed. Please, I want you to believe there is a real grace for speed. If you don't have it, you don't have it. Period. There is a grace. Gashina, Gamuna, Sir King Aljana, Yanana, Gashina. Sarakin Sarakuna Yana Na Sarakin Sarakuna Let's pray. Listen. It's a mystery how God brought me into this understanding. When you understand how speed works, you will never feel bad for any delay in your life. It's a strange system that insists that you catch pace with destiny. It works mysteriously. It works by compressing time. 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 Dominion over time is what speed is about. I want to pray for someone now. Sirkin Sarakuna. Father, please, I know that when I begin to pray inside and outside, people will begin to run physically. Honestly, why God does it, I don't know. I think it's just a prophetic acting of what is happening in the realm of the spirit. But every time I pray this prayer, the hand of God comes upon people and you find out that sometimes they begin to run physically. And I'm going to pray that prayer now. There are people here, God wants to take 10 years and put in one year. God wants to take one year five years and put in one month is it not written in your bible that i will restore the years god does not only restore things he restores time whoever can restore time must be god himself are we together in the name of jesus i decree and declare right now Everyone under the sound of my voice, inside, outside, parushalata. I declare at the count of three, Father, let this grace for speed, restoration, the mystery that gains time. May that grace fall upon people within this auditorium, overflow. One, two, three, four, online. In the name of Jesus, receive that grace. One, two, three. Take that grace now. 
restoration I prophesy pursue overtake without fail recover pursue overtake without fail recover in career pursue in marriage pursue in ministry pursue I'm speaking by the spirit pursue overtake recover pursue help that woman please overtake recover financially pursue overtake recover in your influence pursue overtake recover in your academics i pray for students pursue overtake recover pursue overtake recover Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The person who will run out now under the anointing, don't stop the person, just hold the person. By the person's self, mysteriously by the Spirit, there is a prophetic word, and this is how God told me, it's a force that will come upon the person. Please help her. Na, na, na. It will happen by the spirit. They will come out by themselves. A strong anointing is not something you can resist. This is a sign and a wonder. How God does it, I don't know. Sarkin Sarakuna. There are three more people, that's why I'm standing. Three more people. It's a wind, it's a force of the spirit. The wonder working power of Jesus. How the church has limited him, limited him, limited him. Please help them, make sure they don't injure themselves. Kashina, Kamuna, Sir King Aljana, Yanana. I speak to all these ones that have come out by the Spirit. I'm declaring right now the chains that hold your feet. I'm seeing their legs specifically, their legs with chains. I lose you now. In the name of Jesus, I release you to destiny. I release you to destiny. I release you to destiny by the power of the Holy Ghost. No more delay, no more retrogression by the Spirit of the Living God. Hmm. The force of God's power birthing possibilities in the lives of people. The power of God is coming on this gentleman, this one wearing polo. Yes. My friend, 
the anointing of the spirit is coming on you in a very mighty way and I'm seeing a gate open before you and night is at your back and day is in your front I prophesy to you what I'm seeing and to everyone who connects with this prophecy I take night behind you and I command your morning to stand before you I take night behind you and I command the sun to shine before you in the name of Jesus Christ everyone lift your voice say after me in the name of Jesus please shout it say in the name of Jesus I decree and declare by the anointing of the spirit I am breaking limits I am moving forward lift your voice and begin to prophesy breaking limits in the name of Jesus I make progress is someone praying I make progress by the power of the Holy Ghost Breaking limits. Breaking limits. Pali shala hasaka tabra galoshia. Ekretus kaba shala da baruti. Empre koto shole bra hasada da baladaba. Hallelujah. We're about to pray for the sick now. Please listen. When we take our time to pray for the sick like this, the anointing of the Holy Spirit is coming on someone just around the ministers. As I came here, I just spoke. I just saw fire just resting. Strong anointing from the front to my back. Strong anointing. The Spirit of God is resting upon people, moving, shifting by the Spirit of the living God. How forcible. Pastor, there is a grace coming on you. The HICC pastor, a strong anointing shifting you by the spirit. Step into a new dimension. Gashina, Gamuna, Sir King Aljana, Na Na Na. dimensions we want to pray for the sick now listen very carefully I believe in miracles there are people here who are standing trusting God to touch various aspects of their lives their bodies tight there is still a strong anointing around the minister section here I'm seeing impartations real graces impartations coming by the spirit impartations people are drinking of wines you might lift your hands I amplify the prophetic upon your life in the name of Jesus I amplify the prophetic in the name of Jesus hold your hands two of you please help them take that grace in the name of Jesus amplify the grace you step into new dimensions in the spirit the spirit and the power of the word your words from today will be like fire fire refine us fire Dan, come. Hold my hands. Grace is given for you to rise. No more delay. I place a ladder before you and I shift you by the spirit to the amazement of many. May your life change, change like day and night. Praise the Lord. Thank you for your patience. Please rise. Let's stretch our hands here. Unto thee that answers prayer shall all flesh come. Prophecy, no matter how accurate, is limited by time and the openness of the vessel. 
but that every time this is not a ritual it's a revelation to come before the god who can answer listen there are things here written that are death sentences there are things written here that will take only god to provide a miracle for there are things written here that are age-long captivities some of them even predate our coming to the earth but there is a name that is above every other name the bible says wherefore god hath so highly exalted him and given him an office a name a title the bible says that at the mention of that name everything in the earth in heaven under the earth will bow every knee and then every tongue will confess that jesus is lord even to the glory of the father i cannot begin to tell you the kind of tearsome testimonies that have come out of this this is not a ritual there is a covenant that sponsors the, uh, the answered prayer here and one more time and the last time really for this year i want us to agree in the next two three minutes wherever you are just stretch your hands as a point of contact and begin to pray that the egyptian that i see today in the name of jesus the christ of god i will see them no more forever is someone praying every evil report orchestrations of darkness if it had a beginning tonight is the end pray don't worry for those of you at the overflow who are still being ministered to just focus as the ministers minister to you while we pray Jesus we decree and declare that these Egyptians you see today you will see them no more forever father we bring before you every situation here marital situations financial situations spiritual situations career situations in the name of Jesus we bring them under the covering of the blood every legal access upon which these requests continue to remain by the blood of the eternal covenant we nullify that access now in jesus name father by this prayer we blot out handwritings and ordinances that speak against god's people we declare them nullified forever I stand as one sent by the Spirit of the Lord and I declare receive strange testimonies. Be 
before this year runs out in the name of Jesus let every request tabled here be turned into testimonies testimonies are largely answered through men when it leaves heaven most times the testimonies we need we need them in their material form there are few testimonies that we need them just in the spirit form i'm praying every human agent that must partner with god partner with the systems of god to see to it that this request is granted we compel them by the spirit to do so now in the name of jesus every death sentence written here in the name of jesus we cancel it now hallelujah let it be done so shall it be we establish it in the name of jesus now we want to round up by prophesying over our lives this for me you've heard me say this is the best part of the service because this is where everybody gets an opportunity for spiritual realities to be created in your life please i want you to agree with me every proclamation that will come receive it by faith believe it and shout a loud amen as proof that you believe it are we together in the name of jesus christ amen. delay comes to an end now delay comes to an end now delay comes to an end now everything representing shame and reproach in your life and that of your family it comes to end this night in the name of jesus pray for your spiritual life the kind of encounter that you have not had from january till now strange encounters revelations of heaven receive that grace in the name of jesus and if our god is for us then you could ever stop us and if our god is with us then And if our God is with us, every wall that stands before you and the next dimension, I decree and declare by the spirit of grace that was upon the nation of Israel standing before Jericho, I command every wall, go down flat. Financial walls go down flat. Career walls go down flat. In the name of Jesus. And the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon. Every man that must send for you to come out from where you are to where you need to go to, the gatekeepers of the dimensions that you seek to enter, I compel favor from them to you. I compel favor from them to you in the name of Jesus. There are angels that herald the influence of a man. Listen, honor is a grace. When that grace is not upon you, no matter how noble you are, you will never be honored. Honor is a grace. And when that grace is on you, only God can take it away. It says, and Jabez was more honorable than his, not more prosperous not more favored more honorable many people do not know what honor is 
the fortitude for preference. There is an unction from God that fishes you out of the crowd, places you in a position where the eyes of men must discern you, reward you, recognize that which God has invested within you. Listen to me. There are many gifted people. The eye that can bless has not seen you. There are many men of God. The eyes that can discern and lift you is not there. Let me pray for you. There is a grace for honor. Therefore God, even thy God, hath anointed you with an oil of gladness that sets you above your fellows. I pray for you. In the name of Jesus, may the mantle that makes for honor, territorial honor, honor at a national level, in the name of Jesus, receive that grace now. Receive that grace now. You will be surprised to see the workings of this grace in your life. When the grace for honor and favor is upon you, you will always be found in the midst of your destiny helpers. Listen, it's a mystery that cannot be explained. You will be suspended until they appear. Then you come. Listen. Is a waste to fight battles without reward. David said, what shall be given to the man that will do this to Goliath? Sometimes it's a waste to do noble things in the face and the presence of people who have no fortitude to discern and to reward. I pray for you. May the Lord position your destiny help us and cause them to love you and to honor you. The Lord asked me to wear this as a prophetic representation of what he is still doing. It is still our year of extraordinary fruitfulness. I stand by the God of heaven. Have the faith to believe. Don't sit down questioning, leave your mind and trust God. It is within his power to make great. He takes a man from the dunghill overnight and turns his life around. I'm praying for you. For some of you, before this year is over, step into a dimension of prepared blessings. Prepared blessings. Prepared parushalata. I release you into a dimension of prepared blessing. Listen, believers, I want you to believe this. Our time is gone, but I want you to believe this. Do not doubt what the power of God can do. Hallelujah. We're rounding up in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. The grace that will produce results of wonders in your life. May that grace rest upon you now. Prepared blessings that take you to realms. Ten years put in one month. I release that grace upon you. These graces are not some carnal show of wealth. No. They are time redemption systems. Understand what they are. They seek to conquer time and give you the convenience and the allowance to serve the purposes of the kingdom. In the name of Jesus, the grace for ease that brings you into supernatural results. Receive that grace right now. Receive that grace in the name of Jesus. I pray for every family represented here. The sound of mourning. The sound of pain and anguish by the spirit of the living God. Let it come to an end this night. Everything 
that has refused to walk in your life by the power of the highest I compel it to begin to walk now men you do not know may they carry glad tidings about you to the ears of your helpers in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for you the presence of God, the weightiness, the substance of his presence that must rest upon you, especially if you are in ministry, by the power of the Holy Ghost, be a career of divine presence. In the name of Jesus, everyone here trusting God for a job, before this year runs out, may God give you a miracle job. Every family here trusting the Lord for any and every kind of breakthrough. We call upon the God of the heavens. In the name of Jesus, let there be an, a, an abundant supply of that grace. Hear me. Whoever ignores you will pay for it. Hear me. Any man that fights you goes down instantly. Let me say it again. Any man that fights you goes down instantly. I pray for every ministry here under the sound of my voice. The grace and the wings of the spirit that will take you to dimensions untold. May that grace rest upon you. I pray for every man and every woman of God here. The errands and the horse that will hold your hands. Loyal men indeed. May God give them to you. Anyone here who the testimony over your life is Ichabod. I declare by the spirit of God a restoration happens now. Thou shalt not be afraid of the snare of the fowler, nor the noisome pestilence, nor the destruction that wasted in noonday. Says a thousand shall fall by your side, and ten thousand by your right side. It says none shall hurt you, but with your eyes shall you behold and see the reward of the wicked. I pray for you, as a bird is escaped from the snare of the fowler, may you escape from every evil. May you escape from every trap. In the name of Jesus Christ, I speak over your life. Go from glory to glory. The remaining weeks of this year, I'm speaking to you. May they be weeks of strange wonders. And finally, let me speak over your prayer life over your word study life whatever has stolen your joy whatever has stolen your fire whatever has stolen your passion whatever has stolen your focus in the name of Jesus by fire let it be restored tonight may the gifts of the Holy Ghost operate freely in your life may you be a wonder first to yourself and then may you be a wonder to everyone around you. In the name of Jesus. Finally, anyone here being eyed by the spirit of death. To see to it that you will not finish this year well. To see to it that it will not be well with you and your family. Gehazi came and met the woman and said, it's all well. It's all well with your household. I pray for you because the Bible says to say to the righteous, it shall be well. Therefore, I speak over you, it is well. I declare over you, all is well. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. For all of you who have traveled from far, whether from another nation, right down here, from another city, right down here, you will go back with strange testimonies. You will carry a fire and anointing that will be worth your coming here. In the name of Jesus. Very quickly, you are here under the sound of my voice. Please, let's minimize movement. And you are saying, Apostle, I want you to give me an opportunity to give me
my life to Jesus Christ. You are here and you are saying, Apostle, I've seen the wonder-working power of God. I need Jesus as a matter of urgency in my life. Hear me? The Bible says, whosoever will come to him, he will in no wise cast away. Praise the Lord. Whether you are here inside or outside, there are people here who are saying, Apostle, I need Jesus. There are others who are saying, Apostle, I need restoration of my relationship with Jesus. It is never too late to reconnect with him. Now, whether you are here, let's minimize movement, whether you are here inside or outside, we cannot close this meeting. This is the last miracle service for the year. Wherever you are, whether you are rededicating your life or you are handing your life over to Jesus for the first time, inside, outside, overflow, one, two, three, I want you to run and come and stand right in front of me here. Sustain the boldness to come. Don't be ashamed. Let's celebrate them as they come, Koinonia. Those coming from outside, please clear the way for them. Above him there's no other. Jesus is the way. Jesus is the answer for the world today. Keep coming. Above him there's no other. Jesus is the way. Jesus is the answer for the world today. Above him there's no other. Jesus is the way. Jesus is the answer for today above him there's no other the bible says for god so loved you and me he proved his love by giving not taking giving his one and only begotten son now the firstborn of we the begotten that whosoever will believe in him should not perish is a law but have the way the life of god you have come many of you making this decision for the first time many of you rededicating your lives to jesus listen it doesn't matter why you came i want you to know that there is a god who loves you desperately unashamedly and is ready to give you a new beginning lift your right hand and say this very passionately say this truthfully from the depth of your heart say lord jesus please if you're joining us quickly come quickly come find a space and pray this prayer from the depth of your heart say with me again lord jesus tonight i have heard your word i believe join them quickly say i believe that you are the son of God I believe that you died for me I believe that you shed your blood for my sin tonight I receive your life I receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness and I declare that from tonight until forever I reign in life I am a child of God I belong to the family of God amen keep your hands lifted while I pray for you father thank you you have brought these ones by your spirit you are able to save to the uttermost scripture says thank you for drawing these ones I decree and declare by the spirit of God that every legal stand that the devil has against them is nullified tonight by the blood i declare by the authority of scripture your sins be forgiven and i declare that the lord grants you a new beginning from tonight i declare that you go forward ever and backward never the power to love and serve jesus is released upon you in the name of jesus christ amen and amen now very quickly there are a number of you um, there are two gentlemen waving their hands you can follow this aisle or this one whichever will take you to the same place please follow them as we celebrate them there will be a group of people to just receive you and just share a few things with you and you'll be back is this the best you can do koinonia